Hello, everyone. Hope you're doing well on this Wednesday evening. Time appropriate greetings to wherever you are. How the hell are you guys? Happy freaking Wednesday. Bleacher creatures indeed. How you doing, Daniel? And I see we have some cornbread. And it is delicious. How's it going, delicious cornbread? Reepa, how you doing, Reepa? Good to see you. Can do. How's it going? How the hell is everybody? Yeah, we're going to do Fallout 3 tonight, because I've been jonesing for some Fallout 3. Like, literally, shaking. The Jet will make it jittery for Fallout 3. So yeah, I, I've been wanting to play some more 3. Some more of the Fallout 3s lately, so that's what we're going to do. Zarabide? Zarabide, hello. I hope I'm saying that right. Yeah, uh, nothing really to banter about other than it's Wednesday. And it feels like it should be Friday. Not only because I'm streaming, because it's been a it's been a long week and three days, so. But you guys know how that goes. <laughs> Don't know what the hell day it is anymore. Um, yeah, this working from home thing is, I like it, but when all you do is work, and go out and run errands, and then come back home because all your friends are in quarantine, you don't really. I don't feel like going to bars or anything yet restaurants or whatever so you run a few errands it just every day just kind of blends into the other it's it's special and work days just blend in from one to the other i i'm just it's special <laughs> uh but honestly considering the alternative of having to uh have an hour commute to go back to the office every day i i, I will take this i am in no hurry to go back to the actual office working from home is perfectly fine with me Imagine this without technology. Oh my. You have no idea. Um, I, I, I'd probably be out of a job because all my... Everything I do depends on being able to deliver electronic files. <laughs> uh, Reaper says, I worked at home in the last year, 10 years. You get used to it after a while. I, uh, yeah, I actually did work from home, I think about two and a half years. This is roughly 10 years ago. I was working freelance from home full time, and which was great. But when you realize you're a better designer than you are a business person, it's time to go back to the office. <laughs> uh, delicious cornbread says, uh, "Do I have a job for you? If you want some excitement, oh no, your kind of excitement. I think I'll pass on that excitement." But I are you home, Delicious Cornbread? Are you in parking lot duty tonight? Checking in from the parking lot before the big event. Or are you actually off tonight? Did they give you the hall pass tonight? Uh, whatever the case, I hope you're staying safe. I keep uh, reading horror stories about people on the front lines, and I, th I think of you every time I read one of those. So, hope you're staying safe, man. Um, so, yeah, I think we'll just jump into the game. I actually have a couple game updates to go over. So I'm just going to launch the game here. Let's just launch the game. You are home tonight. Cool. Very, very cool. Oh, well, thanks for... Thanks for stopping by and hanging out. Alright, so load the game. So, yeah, when we left off last time... Nora, yeah, you know, we are start playing as Nora the Vault Born, although she probably wasn't really born in a vault. She's finding out. We left off last time around. I, I don't even remember. Yes, mini hideout over in Springvale. That's my uh, my main player base. I'm not using the Megaton home this time around. I'm using the mini hideout. It's an awesome little bunker player home uh, just, just outside of Megaton in beautiful downtown Springvale. We are now in beautiful downtown Megaton. And it is, is glorious. Still traveling with Doge Meat, Jericho, and of course, the one, the only, Bitter Cup. God, life is such a hassle, you know? Hmm. Here, this is for you. I did. Let me. Just give me one second. I want to check. Whoop. No. I just want to check my audio settings. The music seems very, very loud to me. No, music is fine. Some of these Fallout 3 ambient tracks are excessively loud. And that's that's a vanilla thing. It's just the way they are. Uh, I did get Bitter Cup a new new outfit. She had been wearing the Talon Combat Armor. Talon Company Combat Armor, like, 
what Jericho has. They look like the Bobsy twins. I wanted to get Bitter Cup a little something, something different. I might actually wear this at some point. This is from um, a modded armor. It's really the only modded armor I'm using other than the one I'm wearing. Uh, the Wasteland Soldier medium variant gives a plus one charisma, plus five small guns. And I like it. I've used it in the last few Fallout 3 playthroughs I've done. But I had to go sell some shit to Moira, so I figured I'd, I'd, uh, I'd, I'd get Bitter Cup. Well, not quite a dress, but the next best thing. Uh, let's see. Nora is wearing this Wasteland Looter outfit, which is basically a mashup of the leather armor and some other things. This gives me a plus 20 carry weight and plus 5 small guns. And once I get my repair skills up, I think the damage resistance is going to be basically the same as the Wasteland Soldier. So I'm probably going to keep this for all, mainly for that carry weight, but at some point I may go back to this. Don't be a stranger. Yeah, I think this, uh, it's basically a mashup of the Sheriff's Duster, combat armor, and the leather armor. I think it's pretty damn cool. It is, uh, it's, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, what is it? Uh, you're all such a ray of sunshine there, Jericho. Uh, do you have anything? Sure, give me whatever Oh, Christ, he's still got, like, the minigun, and, oh, yeah. I think at some point, oh, and he's got six sensor modules. We're gonna have to go over to the Outcasts. Because these sensor, sensor modules are practically junk, and I gotta go say hello to um, Protector Kasdan. Trade these in for some ammo. And you have another sniper rifle. Oh, that's my sniper rifle. Why do you have my sniper rifle, Jericho? You don't want that. It's got a mini gun, which actually should be in the underground hideout, and I'm not sure why it's not. I may be swapping out Jericho tonight for another companion if we get that far. Uh, go over the game plan, but we may be saying farewell to Jericho tonight, at least temporarily. Yeah, let's get to the action. And uh, let me just re I don't know how... He I must have gave that to him when I was doing inventory maintenance. I have no idea why he has my sniper rifle. Yeah, because I wanted to make sure that my, my zoomable scopes still work. Because we have an update to talk about. A wonderful mod update. Stewie's Tweaks had another update that came out, and one of the things it adds, it actually ports over some of the changes to the New Vegas version of Stewie's Tweaks. Vats will now ignore your companions. I can cycle through all the targets in Vats. It will not pick up my companions. It will ignore them. It is a wonderful thing. It's been in the New Vegas version of Stewie's Tweaks for quite a while. And the latest update brings it over to Fallout 3. Hey, Deckard, how you doing? Um, so, yeah, that's 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 a beautiful thing there. And the other ver thing that it adds is no lockpick activate. Oh. No lockpick activate. When you pick the lock on a container, I may, I may lose a little karma here, but I'm okay with that. When you lockpick a container, whoops, it will not automatically open. You will have to open it yourself. Oh, come on. <laughs> it worked earlier. Really? This is not even a novice lock. There we go. I just lost karma. Reaper, thank you very much for that sub. I do appreciate it. You didn't notice that, right? So yeah, did not open up the container, and and that. So yeah, that was in the New Vegas version of Stewie's Tweaks. I I I guess I I picked a good time to pick that because there's the sheriff. <laughs> I lost a little bit of karma. Um, there was something else I was just gonna do here too, and I completely forgot about. That reminded me. Uh, just release update for be exceptional perk mod now adds only explorer, but also here now. Oh, cool. I will go check it out. Uh, there was just something else I was going to freaking do here. So, yeah, so now we have... Vats ignores your teammates, your companions. No lockpick activate. And that's on top of all the other quality of life side, uh, additions I have, like the zoomable sniper rifles. But as I was picking that lock, there was something I realized I was going to do. I don't remember what the hell it was. I do not remember. That's what happens when you're trying to play a video game and... 
chat and make sure you go over all the updates on a Wednesday. <laughs> and I want coffee. I really want coffee, but I can't. It's a work night, so. No coffee for me. Uh, hey, Grey Dog. Good to see you. Hey, baby. Uh, how you guys doing? Uh, I guess game plan. Let's figure out what the game plan is. Yeah, we are a uh, beautiful downtown megaton. I think the first thing we're going to do tonight is finish off those. We have to go back to Marigold Metro Station and remove the source of the fire ants. We were over in Greyditch the last time. Now, is the... Is the... Ah, we're not getting the... Uh, we're not getting... Maybe when we leave Megaton, we're not getting the... Uh, the quest destination. We have to go back over to Marigold Station, which is basically in in, uh, in Grey Ditch. Cleared out the fire ants last time. We read Dr. Lesko's terminal and notes. So now we have to venture into Marigold Station and take care of the fire ant threat. So we're going to finish that off tonight. I did remember I do have a little player home installed in Grey Ditch. It's somewhere in this area west of the station, I think it is. So I want to go check that out. Tiny little hole-in-the-wall player home. Nothing special. I just think it's cool. I completely forgot that I had it installed. Delicious Cormors. I just made coffee myself. I accidentally bought decaf about two weeks ago. It's one of those things where the packaging looks exactly the same as the regular coffee, except it says decaf and a little purple bar at the top. And if it's not in the decaf section of the coffee, you have a tendency to pick it up thinking you're buying regular coffee until you get it home. I'm like, oh shit, why did I buy decaf? So I do have decaf, and I thought about making it earlier, but eh, I'll deal with it. So the brain isn't the brain isn't up to full hit points tonight. Lack, lack of coffee. Sluggish from lack of coffee. Yes, it is an abomination. And I thought of that when I got decaf. What the fuck did I buy decaf for? I did not want decaf. Uh... So yeah, I absolutely hate when I do that. It is it is not fun. So there was something I was gonna do. What's my condition on this? Let me just Okay. Not that was not I repaired everything up, but alright. Stats! Let's check out Nora's stats and then we'll head out. Currently at level nine, we have less than a thousand points to go to level up to number ten. No particular objective with this build other than just to play the game. This is my first time playing the game in about uh, oh, roughly 10 years. It's 2008? No. What am I saying? 2012. I think 2012 or 2013 was the last time I actually finished it. So roughly 10 years-ish, maybe a little less since I actually finished the game. And I think 2014 I started playing it and just never, never got very far with it. So it's been a while. Strength of 8, Perception 5, Endurance 5, Charisma 8, Intelligence 9, Agility is 5, and Luck is 4. And the only reason I have a Luck of 4 is because I have the Lucky 8 Ball that we got from... What the hell is his name over in... Uh, Big Town. I always forget his name. Save... Um, Christ, it'll come to me here in a minute. Don't tell me. It'll... 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 It'll hit the... It'll hit the rusty gears here in a, in a minute. Um, you save his... You, you guys... Okay, go ahead and tell me, because I can't remember what the hell his name was. As soon as somebody says it... Oh, yeah. The dude whose life you save in, in Big Town. After the, you, you get rid of the mutant raiders there. He gives you the lucky eight ball. As long as that's in the, your inventory, you get a plus one luck. So that's the only reason I have four. Otherwise, my luck kind of sucks. Um, coffee doesn't seem to have any effect on me, Kendu says. Uh, I guess you're just too old. It has an effect on me, but I don't think as much as it used to. Red Bulls, on the other hand, oh boy. Yeah, I, I can't do Red Bulls during the week. Um, that's, that's not a good thing. Skills, we are seem to, again, no particular, no particular build I'm going for through here. Deckard's back with beer. Beer will put me to sleep tonight. <laughs> uh, Delicious Cornbread said, I had done that. End up with the, like sugar-free ketchup. 
or something stupid. Why does this even exist or why did I accidentally buy it? Yes. Well, it doesn't help that I buy... Once, once in a while, I'll break down and buy the store brand coffee. If I'm too lazy to go to the place that has the coffee I normally buy, because I'm very particular about my coffee. Very, very picky. The supermarket brand I get isn't that bad. It's actually pretty damn good. So, I'd say a few times a month I'll buy that supermarket brand. But it's one of those things where their packaging for the regular coffee is exactly the same thing as the decaf. But they just put like a little a little purple bar or something. A little, little bar color above the coffee name, what blend it is, that says decaf in white letters. And unless you specifically look... You end up a very good chance of buying the decaf if they get shuffled around the shelf and you're not paying attention. Because who the hell pays attention when they go grocery shop? Why would that be a thing? So. And pros to you, Deckert. Enjoy that, enjoy that, uh, that cold, refreshing beverage. Looks like we are, uh, focusing on speech. Which is 60, small guns, 55. I'm getting a plus... Plus 5 or plus 10? No, oh, I'm... A plus five small guns from my outfit. Science is 50, which is actually pretty good. We're going to need that for one of the quests I want to do tonight. Lockpick is at 50. And what's my science? Yeah, so we're, we're doing okay. Speech is pretty good. I'd like to get my barter up a little bit, and I definitely want to start putting some more points into energy weapons. I definitely want to get more points into energy weapons, because energy weapons are cool. Uh, Nora's kind of, oh, repair 62. That's the other thing. Repair 62. That's that's actually pretty good. I, I do want to get more points in the in the repair. Um, yeah, Nora's kind of a science geek like dear old dad. So she wants to uh, all all those all those uh, years playing around with the BB gun in the vault, got her small gun skill up, but ever since she got a taste of using energy weapons, plasma and laser is where it's at, baby. So we're going to head out. I don't remember what the hell it was that I was going to say or do. And you know what? It doesn't matter. We're just going to go. Uh, I do want to check my stim pack supply, though. I, I think I stocked up on everything, like stim packs and whatnot. Oh, I remember what I was going to do. I remember. Now, I had nothing to do with the actual game. Well, it kind of did. 63 stim packs. I need to jump out of the game for a second. Jump into my Windows preferences and turn off the scrolling for inactive windows because when I'm in my pit boy scrolling through my inventory the chat scrolls so I have to jump into uh, windows settings turn that shit off and we're good to go that's what I forgot I was gonna do I I think I just saw weapons fire down by my house. I could have sworn I just saw weapons fire down this way. Maybe not. But I saw a couple tracer rounds. No, there's nobody down there. Alright. Uh, most of the sugar free or light stuff is using aspartame instead of sugar. Yeah, I don't I don't use anything with aspartame. Nope. Know all about that. Uh why are the quest marker things not showing up? Yeah, we're not getting Hmm. I had the uh I had the quest thing earlier. Oh well. We know where we gotta go. And I'm not gonna fast travel though. I wanna go on little a little, a little jaunt. Because that's why we're here. We're here to take a, uh, a brisk stroll through the wasteland. Yeah, I generally don't use anything with artificial sweeteners. And I, I don't drink diet soda. I really don't drink soda. I usually drink flavored water. Although I will admit, I did break down and buy a... Uh, since I've been home almost six months now working... Guilty pleasure, at least once or twice a week, would, would be to get a uh, Pepsi out of the soda machine. There's no soda machine here. What are we shooting at? Oh, just a dog? Uh, I did buy a six-pack of Pepsi. A couple of them. Over the, over the past few months. Been weaning myself 
on to drinking the Pepsi. <laughs> Um, but unfortunately, it's not the Pepsi that you get in Europe with actual sugar in it. It's that shit that you get in the States with corn syrup, so... You know how that goes. Um, weapons. Okay, so let me get reacclimated to the weapons here. One is a 10mm submachine gun. Two is a Chinese assault rifle. Three... I still got the hunting rifle. I haven't been using it. I, I may want to get rid of it. Uh, four is the combat shotgun. And five is the sniper rifle. Yep, we got... We got the zooming. We got the zooming. Uh, Reaper says, I tend to drink coffee from the time I get up till around 6 p.m. After that, it's tea. I have to stop drinking, and on work done, I have to stop drinking coffee, like, at around, by, by 3 o'clock. If I drink anything past 3, then I usually have a hard time getting to sleep. And that creates its own fun. But, like, on the weekends, psh, I'll drink coffee till, like, 9, 10 o'clock at night. I have no problem with that. So this, yeah, this is the way to Girder, uh, not Girder Shade. Great itch. So Brian Wilk should still be in the, uh, the Pulowski shelter. I did want to try and find that player home before we head into Marigold Station. Hey, Guy oh, Fox, how you doing? Sure is hot in here. <laughs> yep, Brian's still there. Brian's safe. Uh, Deckard says, I drink one cup of coffee after waking up. The rest of the day, I just drink water. I try and drink several cups of water during the day. Because if I don't... I get these little messages that pop up in the corner of my glasses saying you are peckish from last... No, wait a minute. That's not what happens. I just want to find out where the hell that player home is. I thought it was over here. It's just a tiny little hole in the wall. Is this it? This is it. It's right over here. Yep. It's not... It's not this. This is an unmarked location, which we should go into. And I'm actually going to say before we go into... I don't remember what's in here, but, uh... Hey, Santa Claus, how you doing? Uh, yeah. The outpost. Opening fire. So, just to demonstrate, I can cycle through vats... My companions are no longer targeted, and it is a wonderful thing. Yeah, I don't know why these guys are immediately hostile, but here we go. Oh, jeez. Where'd you come from? Oh, oh sorry, bitter cup. <laughs> I shot Bitter Cup. Uh, I went to shoot the mutant, but he had uh, he had already died. And the round went over his, his head as he fell and hit Bitter Cup. Hey, Dan and Saber, how, how you doing? You're doing good. All right, you beat me to it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I I don't know what the story with this with this cell is, but it's an unmarked location. They have things that we can loot, so we're gonna loot them. See if I can find any. When I'm gone, I'll be sure to haunt. You're gonna haunt this place, place aren't you, Bitter Cup? You're gonna haunt this place. Uh, I'll take that and the cram. Yeah, I didn't mean to hit you there, Bitter Cup. That was not intentional. I will take the ammo. Oh. For a collection. I guess I, I don't know why I took the bottle. I, I keep forgetting I'm not using a mod that um, recycles the bottles. Bitter cup. Oh, hey. I was just trying to think of a word that rhymes with gloom. Hmm. Here. She's just still working on finding that word that rhymes with gloom, everyone. She hasn't quite found it yet. 
So I don't drink it. We're going to give her that. I think I have eight or nine of these back at the mini hideout. Later. I kind of want to try and remember to bring those down to the underground hideout. I want to start moving all my stuff down there. You know, good program for doing mesh is like redoing something like a car. Well, you could use 3DS Studio Max. Doom, boom, zoom, boom. <laughs> Thanks for those bits, Deckert. Uh, very, I can't open this yet, huh? Uh, 3D Studio Max, but you'd want to be using the um, break grenades. The uh, the NIF export tool that comes bundled with a CK. You could probably use. Oh. Ah, shit. I forgot that these are hey, booby be trapped. Damn it. Never mind. As soon as I hit the uh, the activate key, I saw that it had a booby trap on it. Um, 3DS Studio Max, you want to use the 2013 version, that's really the only thing you can do collision with, and that is, uh, let's just say you won't be able to get it legitimately and leave it at that. You can use Blender, but there's hoops you have to jump through to get it exported and into the game. So, there's plenty of information out there. I would suggest, I think King Gath actually had, on his uh, tutorial series... Had something about using uh, Studio Max. I know a lot of people use Blender just because it's readily available. But uh, there's no direct export in... I don't know anything about it. Uh, Alright, so this is it. This is our, our little player home. Great Itch Bunker. And I thought it was pretty cool. Light switch doesn't work. I thought it was pretty cool. It's not anything fancy, but that's kind of why I like it. Why did I lose karma? Why did I lose karma? This is my house now. So it comes with some things. So it's got basic... Not that it does anything, but there's a stove and a fridge. There's a little bit of loot. There's a place to sleep. Who cares, man? We all are either way. And Check this out. Got some great news out of the town of Megaton. Turns There's out a bathroom. I suppose this sink works. Been deep yeah, you can actually... Oh, it's the got dirty water. All right. So there's a little bit of loot. Pretty good in here. Conductors. So, it's and simple. Hey, but I, nice I like it. It's like an... Oh! Okay, that is added, but I'm not going to take that one. There's a there's a quantum stuck back there. I'm just gonna leave that one there. Oh. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I want to give you. Yep. Still not dead, unfortunately. Okay. Here, this is for you. Well, I just want to come and check it out. I had forgotten I had it installed, and sensor modules. I'll give those to Jericho. Later. 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 What are we standing around here for when there's plenty of action around? Yeah, the, um... Sure, give me whatever you got. Problem if you want to do meshes in Fallout 4 is that you pretty much need to use 3DS Studio Max to do collisions. I mean, there are ways around it. There's plenty of, of ways you can get around that, but... To do anything in advance, you pretty much need Studio Max. The 2013 version. You can't just use any old version that you can... That you can get has to be the 2013 because that's what bethesda's official tools work with good luck getting it good luck getting it you can't even you can't even buy it legitimately anymore okay, marigold station should be down here i'm not sure why we're not getting sure why the um, objective markers aren't showing up. Unless they just don't for this quest? Maybe they don't. Scientific pursuits. Yeah, okay. Maybe they just don't for that quest. Maybe they don't. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh. <laughs> Here, and I thought we'd clear them all, clear them all out. Alright, so Marigold Station. Yes, you have to walk the plank. Right, 
here. I hear ants. So there's also something else we got to get in here, too. Let me turn the pit boy on. Take what you can and give nothing back. Uh, I just got... Uh, oh, hang on a second. Get him, dog meat. Oh! It hurts. Boy, does it hurt. I think we're not going to use this. We're going to use this. Jericho. <laughs> well, I ain't gonna have to heal up here. I did try stim uh hotkeying my stim packs and then unhotkeyed them because yeah, because there's not as many hotkey slots as there is in Fallout 4, and I gotta get used to the um I gotta get used to the container not opening up. Uh, there's not as many hotkeys, so muscle memory, I keep hitting the wrong things. In Fallout 4, I like to put a, uh, leave a couple empty, so I can put my usually my purified water and stim packs on one end and weapons on the other, with a couple of empty keys in between as a buffer. Can't do that here. Not enough spaces. Yeah, AK. Actually, delicious. That's Cornbread. That's a 16K retexture. Oh shit! Yeah, I'm gonna need something a little, a little stronger than that. Actually, I want this. Come on, game. Change weapons. 16K retex retexture for the lock picking. Yes. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold off on that. We're just getting started here. So I don't want to get over and cucumbered just yet. I will take the pre war money, though. Transhu just subscribed. Moving right along. Hey, Brad. How you doing? Thank you for that sub. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. How you doing? Moving right along, indeed. Into the depths of hell. remember something about this. We're just going to explore the entire station because I vaguely remember a place that we have to look for. And I hear... I hear more of them. Damned ants. You know what we could do, though? I think they're upstairs. They must be up, up on the platform. Ah, right, we're doing good, Brad. Um... Middle of the week playing Fallout 3. Trying to stay sane. Not working... Not working too well. Hard time keeping track of what day it is. Yeah, hard, hard time keeping track of what day it is and accidentally buying decaf coffee. It's been horrible. Oh, I'm out of I'm out of AP. And there's something I need to look for. Yes, yes, I accidentally bought decaf. We we're just talking about that, and uh, I feel better. I feel better talking about it, admitting it. You know, it uh, it. it it's really helping my self-esteem to know that I'm not the only one that does that. Completely by accident. You know, I think they make the packaging look similar on purpose. To kind of boost the decaf sales. So that you accidentally buy it because it looks the same as the coffee that you really want to buy.
Daniel said, I heard somebody is making something about subways. Where'd you hear that? Where did you hear that, Daniel? That is a vicious rumor. I do not know what you're talking about. Fake news. Uh, Brad says, go for a stress test. Can't have any kind of coffee for 24... Oh, yeah, I've had that before. Well, good luck with that. Just take care of yourself. That's the most important thing. And if you got a test, make sure you study. That's the most important thing. Kidding. Uh, yeah, good luck, though, man. Yeah, stress tests are not fun. All right, there's, there's anything down this way. Let's head back this way. I probably should drop a save here short. Yeah, we gotta go back down this way, I think. Oh! No, we don't. Just cleared up Paradise Falls 15 minutes ago. I haven't gotten there yet. I have not gotten there yet. All right, we gotta listen to Grady's last recording. If you're listening to this tape, then my brains are splattered all over a wall somewhere. And you've got a job to do. You need to retrieve the package and get it safely to Ronald Lauren and Gertershade. Tell him Grady sent you. To get the package, you'll need the key. I've stashed it inside an old fire hose Hurry case up. in some maintenance closet in Marigold Metro Station. Dark poetry. The key will unlock the safe that contains the package. Look for the room marked by a spinning light. You can't miss it. Good yeah. luck. And hopefully, they won't find you too. Yeah, we got we got to find that uh, that package. It's very very special, very important. I think it's it might be back that way. I can't remember. But yeah, we want to deliver the pack, find the package, deliver it to Girder Shade. But I don't want to go to Girder Shade until we get Sydney as a companion. For the dark poetry. <laughs> Thanks, Decker. Thanks for those. Oh, oh where did you come from? You just kind of spawned in there. Just adjust my headphone volume again. There we go. This should be better. I think we want to go... We might want to go that way. We're going to go explore this way a little bit here first. Yes, Bitter Cup needs to write that dark poetry. Okay, so we cannot go that way. Let's see what's down here. An easy ammo box. Yeah, if you... Because I'm using a mod that turns Sydney uh, from the Stealing Independence quest turns her in... Ooh, there's another quantum. Turns her into a companion, and if you take her to Girder Shade with you, ooh, silence 10 millimeter pistol. I don't believe I have one of those. You take Sydney to Girder Shade, and there's some very, very interesting dialogue with Ron. So we want to make sure that we do that before we that we get Sydney before we go out there. Yeah, that's gonna need to be repaired. That only does a damage of five right now. So that goes that way. was a few more than two hits there, Jericho. Uh, okay. Yeah, good luck with everything, Brad. Okay, this goes Falls Church. This is not where we want to go. If we can pick up a map marker. Yeah, I think there's... Yeah, there's super mutants out here. 
Which we're going to say goodbye to. I just wanted to pick up the map marker. That one Craig guy. Thanks for that follow. Hello. Welcome to Fallout 3. Where is the Falls Church Metro? I just wanted to pick up that map marker there. Okay, so well, that's another place we have to go and explore. Yeah, remember you mentioned that you were in the hospital, Brad. That, uh... That's not good. Let's turn the... Pip-Boy light back on. I want to try and go find this, this package location before we go find Dr. Lusco. Jericho's always on the chems. <laughs> I think that's why he's so jittery. The jet's making him jittery. Right, you're way, way the hell down there. Nice. Help me! Help you? We help you write dark poetry? Oh. You're, you're stuck in the... Oh! Wow. He, the ant, the ant spawned inside the generator. William, oh, the ant spawned inside the generator and Bittercup and Jericho blew up, <laughs> blew up the generator shooting it and kicked the ant out into the air. That was awesome. Uh, William Brandis, do you remember William Brandis? He had a terminal there in Gray. He was a former resident of Gray Ditch. This is the guy we talked about who was a member of the Enclave. And I believe he deserted and was always looking over his back to make sure the the Enclave hadn't uh, hadn't caught up to him. But yeah, he's, he's equipped with a laser pistol. His standard Enclave sidearm. And I think I have a... I, I don't remember if we needed that key or not. We're going to take it. But that was one of the former residents of Grey Ditch. Oh, if Jericho and Cricket had children, that would be a that would be awful. That would be really scary. This is Let's go in here. Over here. Damn it. Damn it. I, uh, whoa, I'm on fire. And it hurts. It really, really hurts. No Lincoln's Repeater, because I haven't been there to get it yet. That's why there's no Lincoln's Repeater. Don't have it. You guys can take it. Jesus, these, these guys are really whomping my ass. Yeah, I, I, I do want to get Lincoln's repeater though. It, it is, uh, it is a pretty cool bang bang from what I remember. I think I actually have a retexture for it too. Now that you mention it, Gray Dog, I think I, I might. Oh damn it, dog meat! Yeah, we're gonna be going really going through some ammo here. Holy shit. Alright, this is Oh! Brady okay, we needed this. We definitely I don't remember I don't remember getting the key, but now now I do. Yeah, in order to get the package, you need you need Grady's key. I vaguely remember now. 
jet to make us jittery. Jericho gonna be like, die, 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 my darling. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Thank you, Decker. Yeah, you forgot to fucking die. Die, die, fucking die, my darling. Is this... Is this it? Is that everything? Because everyone wants what Cricket's got. And boom, there they are. <laughs> okay. This is where we, you know, we, yeah, we did come this way because I uh, emptied that out. All right, so kind of went around in a circle. We got to go back this way. already haven't we yes we have going around in a freaking circle yes just follow the trail of ant corpses you can tell where we've been oh sensor module yes please you missed that one oh all right so we didn't we did not all right did not explore all the tunnels yet, I don't think. No, we didn't. Is any bent? There is a bent. Oh, we can't go that way. How about that? All right. So somewhere I think I, I actually know I missed, Mr. Doorway. Done with the giant fire ant queen. That's what we're doing now. We're doing those. it is. There's another doorway that I think I must have missed. Yeah, we've been through here already. Yep, that's where we got the key. That's where we got the key. Well, it's probably been about as long as I've played it, and I barely remember where the hell I'm going. I did this quest, though, like within the past year. On that character that, uh... With the save game problems... Where the, um, the game kept freezing on me. I had done this quest. And I did it on a test character. And I think where we gotta go is actually down the other end of this, uh, this branch here. We went down that way. Is there a door on this side? Yes, this is what was... This is one of the things we're looking for. Remember he said the rotating light? the rotating light. And actually, either way, I'm going to try hacking the terminal. I don't want to use up all my bobby pins. One out of seven, that's no good. Two out of seven, that even sucks more. Kind of, she's kind of hot in her weird. Are you talking about cricket? <laughs> uh, cricket. All right, so that is two out of seven. have anything else that begins with a B, though, do we? No, we don't. Hmm. No. One. 
one. Not that. It wouldn't be that. Damn it. Get good, Strimmer. I may I may end up just, just picking the lock. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our program. This is Red Rocket TV, and each and every one of you is wonderful in your own special way. Yes, yes you are. Damn it. Meeting... Two. It's not really any better. Nope. Yeah, some of us are just more special than others. Alright, I'm gonna save here. And since we have... Yep, Grady's safe. We did get the key, which I completely forgot that we needed. And that's the package, everybody. The Naughty Nightwear. The Naughty Nightwear is now ours. As are the shotgun shells. The Ripa. Some ammunition. See, we have the sensor module, the cigarettes, everything else can stay. And we should get a visitor here any second now. I think. I'm only going to ask you this one time. Lugnut. Give me the naughty nightwear. <laughs> hey, we can pass a speech check. Um, I'm keeping it, and I advise you to back off before I get very angry. All right, all right. My mistake. It obviously belongs to you. Now, uh, you just watch it, because I won't be so nice next time. Hmm. <laughs> You have been a very naughty boy. Yes, he's he's not the Messiah. He's a very naughty boy. Uh, I know I'm special because my mom tells me so. Alright, so we have secured the naughty nightwear. The naughty nightwear is now ours. I don't remember. I, I think I ended up having to kill him the last time. Well, I didn't mean to do that. I, I did not mean to do that. That was completely... <laughs> I s did not mean to do that. Whoops. Slight weapons malfunction there, everyone. Have we already done Gary? No. No, there's really no quest for Gary. It's just, just the vault you stumble across. We have not found Vault 108 yet. Uh, yes, I... That... Th honestly, that, that, was, that was not intended. I did not mean to shoot the lug nut. I did not. I was going to let him go. Just a, a momentary lapse in muscular coordination. Gotta check my armor here. Oh, that's taking some damage for sure. Okay. All right, we need to find Dr. Lesko now. I think this is it. Yep. Well, you startled me. <laughs> you Ugh. really mustn't creep up on people like that. Hmm. Uh, sorry, I didn't expect to bump into anyone down here. That is precisely why this is the ideal place for my work. Do you realize you're trampling about in a delicately balanced and highly sensitive experimentation area? Oh, it's marvelous. Uh, experiments, wh what do you mean? My experiments are of a complex nature and would take a scientist to explain. Oh, wait, I'm a scientist. How marvelous. <laughs> My foray into reducing the girth of these insectoid creatures is of utmost importance. I intend to generationally reduce their immense stature by way of a pre-birth-induced mutagen. Isn't that clever? Hmm. Uh, oh, we can do intelligence. I see. You've tried to make them smaller over time by injecting the eggs. 
my word, you understand perfectly. How marvelous! Hmm. So, what's gone wrong? Uh, are you aware your new ants breathe fire? Well, this is rather embarrassing, so you'll have to forgive me, but it appears that I've made a slight miscalculation in my mutagen samples. Instead of lowering the size of the ants, the brood hatched and developed a, a new biomechanism. I call their genetic aberration pyrosis, the ability to emit flame from their bodies. I may be able to correct this error, but I can't get near my equipment. Hmm. Let's see. Um, we can go intelligence again. I'm shocked you didn't attempt this in a controlled environment first, you moron. Your knowledge of experimental procedure surprises me. Indeed, I have skipped a step and directly modified an entire brood. Perhaps I was too hasty. I was so certain it would work. To correct this mistake, I'll need to get to my terminal to modify the mutagen. Hmm. So, let's see. What exactly do you need there, Doc? My portable terminal is set up in the hatchery chamber near the Ant Queen. If I can reach it, I can continue to work on improving the mutagen. Hmm. So why not just kill the queen and be done with it? If I were to do that, months of data would be lost. No, no, the queen must remain completely unharmed. Your objective would be to eliminate what I call her quintet of nest guardians. Mm, filthy little abominations. Hmm. Um, let's see, so this will stop the fire ants? No, it should all wrap up rather nicely. I've rigged my equipment at my portable terminal to emit what I call an inhibitor pulse. Once I send this pulse, all of the remaining ants will lose their empathic link with the queen and frenzy destroying each other in the process. So that's all there is to it. What do you say? Hmm. Um. Oh, there's a, there's something we need to. Uh, yes. Uh, we need to add. We need need to choose. Uh, this is a hefty task, Doc. I'm going to need some serious a serious incentive. This way, we'll get his lab coat. At least I think this is how you get his lab coat. Uh, Lusco's lab coat gives a plus plus ten. It's plus ten science, and I believe that's the lar the highest science buff to um piece of clothing in the game. It's pretty awesome. Plus 10. So I want that. I want Lesko's Lab Co. So yes, I'm going to need some serious incentive here, Dr. Lesko. Yes, I suppose you're right. Science must learn to acquiesce to your standards in order to advance itself. I was merely going to offer up one of my mutagenic bio-enhancers, but I suppose I could up the ante. I will also award you with my old lab coat. There we go. It served me well over the years, and you may find it useful for your own experiments. Hmm. All right, I'll step. If it'll stop the ants from burning down the right what's left of Grey Ditch, count me in. You will? How marvelous! Be careful, my friend. The nest guardians can be quite tenacious. Hmm. Uh, so what else can you tell me about these fire ants? Well, the mutagen has enhanced their fortitude and provided them with what I call pyrosis, the ability to emit flame biologically. They're quite radiation-free, however. Well, as radiation-free as any other mutated creature in the wasteland. Hmm. So, how did you go from changing their size to them breathing fire? Playing with genetic codes isn't simple. Do you realize one tiny tweak at any point in the last million years could have completely changed us? Going from attempting to change their size to generating their pyrosis ability is no surprise at all. Hmm. So will anything special hurt these ants? I'm afraid they are not susceptible to anything I can think of that wouldn't harm the garden variety giant ant. Just aim for their antennae if you can. It, it will confuse them quite a bit. Oh, Brian was calling those antennas. Must be the same thing. So how the hell can they breathe fire? The stimulation of the subject's evolutionary trigger by the mutagen caused a biodefensive reaction metamorphosing the ant's venom glands. This process caused unexpected oscillations in the venom molecules at such a vast rate it produces a thermodynamic biochemical reaction. 
As the subject ejects the volatile solution, it becomes conflagrant due to new structures in its maw I call its calefaction array. Amazing, isn't it? Of course, that makes perfect sense. Uh, but let me ask you something else. Yes? Mm. Uh, what do you know about Brian Wilkes? Far too curious. His incessant questioning would often come when I was the most absorbed with my calculations. He had no regard for the importance of my work. Hmm. Uh, so... Can't you take responsibility for his father's death? All scientists take responsibility for their failures because it comes with the territory. I will take this experimentation to completion without roosting on the moral high ground. <laughs> if I allow emotions to enter the mix, all this <laughs> time and energy spent will have been for nothing. Don't you realize you've ru ruined his entire life? His family, friends, they're all dead. You have your ideals and I have mine. I'm down here to complete my experiments at any cost. If that means the loss of a few lives to save generations of lives in the future, it's a small price to pay. Hey, you're a wonderful human being there, Doc. I should have at least told him you were alive. He thought, you, he thought he was alone. I can't risk leaving this place. I have to continue monitoring the hatchery for any further mutations in the next brood. I have no time for children in their petty games. What do they know about the importance of my work? Alright, yeah, you're a great, great guy yes. there, Doc. I think we're done. Um, about your experiments? Oh my, yes, they're quite marvelous. <laughs> there are many that say it can't be done, but I'll prove them wrong. Uh, something isn't right. You should have gotten, should have gotten results like these so quickly. What's going on? Well, um... I may have used a few, uh, <clears throat> shortcuts, yes. I was told that the FEV works wonders when used under controlled circumstances. Apparently I was wrong, but I know my mistake. I'm certain I can get it to work. Oh, so you're another one flaring around the FEV, that's awesome. Uh, so what's the goal of these experiments? By introducing my mutagen directly into an ant egg, I hope to reduce the size of the adults. This is a generational system, meaning it will take quite a few broods before the ants are at their destination size. In the end, I hope to make them as small as they were over 200 years ago. Uh, Daniel Maddy says, first time I played, long time ago, I shot him in the head. I... Sounds like he uh, should have showed up at the Institute. Uh, so how exactly can I destroy this mutagen? Destroy? Oh, no, no, no! <laughs> you mustn't do that. It's my life's work. Just clear me a path to my equipment and I'll do the rest when you tell me it's safe. All right, let me ask you about something else. Yes? I have to go now. Finally, a chance to recant my mistake. How marvelous. How marvelous. Okay, I don't want to accidentally shoot him. I do want to finish this. We are going to save. So all we're, what we're going to do... There's two options that you have. You can go and kill the Ant Queen. Which I don't want to do that. Number one, it's hella difficult. She is not easy to kill. Number two, if you kill her, you don't get... You don't get one of the cool perks that he offers you after you finish the quest. Because if you don't kill the Queen... You get the choice of one of two pretty cool perks. So, let's try... See what the naughty what night we're in looks like. Boom, chicka, bow, bow. <coughs> yep, that's the naughty nightwear, everybody. That is the naughty nightwear. Oh boy, is right. How about that? I, I could see why that's in such high demand. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Yes, this is where we gotta go. So we're just gonna go and kill the... Kill the, um... Kill the guards. This is where we gotta go, yes. And Dukov approves. <laughs> My name is Dukov, and I approve this fucking outfit. So 
yeah, we're just gonna go kill the uh, the guards. Oh, what's the DT? That's a good question. Probably next to nothing. It's one. <laughs> so if this was Fallout 4, you could put uh, Fallout 4 with mods, you could put Ballistic Weave on it and have it be more powerful than Power Armor. Get, uh, what is it, like, Advanced Hybrid Weave Mark V. You wouldn't need anything else. Yeah, we're just gonna kill the guards. Leave the queen alone, because I want the ant mite perk. Guilty as charged in Fall War. Now, my, um, last, sub, I mean, probably for the past two years, I've, I've done that, because it's just there. Your, your armor becomes way, way, uh... I think I hit dog meat. Way overly damage resistant. Where's the other ones? Ballistic weave on power armor. <laughs> oh, damn it. Dog meat, you gotta stay back, bud. Tactical Naughty Nightwear, exactly. Two hits, two I can't get a clear shot because dog meat's on fire. My dog is on fire and I can't get a shot. Uh, let's go for the antenna. No, the leg. Who's Frenzy? That's it. All right, return to Dr. Lesko. We're going to leave the queen alone, everybody. Although, hang on a minute. Bitter Cup is unconscious. They're going after the queen. <laughs> uh, Jericho is unconscious. Yes, of course they are. Uh, well, hopefully they will uh, follow me back out here. There's dog. I, I hear dog meat growling. Okay, there's. All right, they all follow me back. We're good. We're good. Oh, doctor. Do you wish to add something to? I've detected some changes within the queen's hatchery with my equipment. What's transpired? Hmm. My work is done, doctor. Oh, how marvelous! How marvelous! Please tell me what happened. Come now, the faster you tell me, the faster I can provide promised payment for your services. Hmm. Uh, I killed all the Nest Guardians. Then I will proceed to my portable terminal at once and make the necessary changes to the formula. Thanks very much for everything. You've been quite a useful lab assistant. Lab assistant? I did it all myself. So I'm ready for my mutagenic bioenhancer injection and the lab coat, Doc. How marvelous. Here is the promised lab coat. I'm certain you'll find it quite useful. Which injection did you want? Will it be the ant site or ant mite? Hmm. Uh, let's see. I'd like ant mite to increase my physical strength. How marvelous. Ant mite it is. Hold still, please. I think you also get a 25% resistance, or plus 25 resistance to damage, or to fire. 
Yeah, you've been granted the strength and flame resistance of the Great Age Fire Ants. Your strength has increased by one, and you are now 25% resistant to fire. I could have just used that before, but that's fine. Yeah, that's pretty good. I, I, the Ant Sight gives you perception. I think it does the same thing, except it's perception. Maybe the fire resistance is different. I can't remember, but this is the one I, I like taking just um, for the strength, if nothing else. And, well, we're not done yet. So that brings my special up to nine. That's pretty good. Let's heal up here a little bit. We're no longer well rested, so I would love to go get some sleep. I want to give that uh, before I drink anything here. Where's Bitter Cup? What are you doing way back here? God, life is such a hassle, you know? Life is a hassle. Here. This is for you. Especially when you have to carry things for me. You need to carry my burdens, and that is definitely a hassle. Hey, Kelly, how you doing? I took Aunt, Aunt Might. Oh, he's... So I hope I took the right one. Now, now you got me thinking that I actually take the right one. Yes, I took Aunt Might. And I got the lab coat. Now I can now nah, we'll let, let him go. I think you get negative karma if you kill him. So I have Lesko's lab coat, plus 20 red resistance, and plus 10 science. I'm sorry, plus 10 science! Actually, we're gonna we're gonna save here but we're not done yet boys and girls there is still more to this quest we gotta find our way out of here though So it is 12.49 in the a.m. Yes, but wait, here's what else you get. You get to find Brian Wilkes a brand new home! Yeah, so we actually have to go and return to Brian. But I think we're going to go find our little player home first and get some sleep. I will heal up there. And Bittercup's gonna haunt this place when she's gone. This is, yeah, this is where we gotta go. Brian Wilkes, you get the choice of this lovely, lovely apartment in Rivet City or Paradise Falls. Actually, he doesn't get the choice, you get the choice. But we're gonna send him to Rivet City, because. I haven't even been to Paradise Falls yet. Don Pardo, tell him what he's won. Just act now, and if you order in the next 10 minutes, you get a free copy of the Wasteland Survival Guide. Signed by Moira Brown. Now, let's go find our little bunker. Is it? it did have a map marker, right? Yes, it did. Back this away. Are you ready to bargain in the garden? Oh, wait, wrong game. So, where was. Ah, it's over here. All right. Head into the Great Itch Bunker. Get some sleep. Pit boiler is on. Yes, it is. And where's the bed? There's the bed. 
Oh, let's do... Let's do nine hours. We'll sleep in. Need to cross out the gray in the gray ditch sign. <laughs> yes, the lifetime time supply of turtle wax and rice aroni. The San Francisco treat. God, I've forgotten about that. All right, Brian. Did that? Did that give me the? That bed, did that give me the well-rested bonus? I didn't even look. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Cool. Did you know that Grey Garden is run entirely by robots? <laughs> I did hear that, Decker. That is a rumor that I did hear. Did you know that Grey Ditch was entirely run by ants? At least until recently. Thanks for those bits, Decker, by the way. Yes, Grey Ditch. Entirely run by ants. Until just, just, just a few moments ago. And a copy of the home game. Oh, I miss those days. I miss watching game shows. Um, anyone out there? Wait. Hello? Billy, is that you? Billy? Is that you, Billy? I didn't sign on with you, so that we could be playing Santa Claus. It was so weird. All of a sudden, the ants went nuts and started fighting each other. It was like they were totally crazy. It was really scary, but kind of cool at the same time. You know what I mean? Uh, because I was raised by Match Game. Oh God, I, I watched that all the time. Also, Wait, that's no. Got a new sheriff that should keep the powder gang away. <laughs> Wrong game, old man. <laughs> Thanks, Deckard. Uh, yeah, wait, that's no fridge. Um, yeah, I would go visit my grandparents for uh, holiday breaks when I was, uh, you know, very young child. And this was back in the 70s when Match Game was a thing. And they changed, every year they changed what year it was, like Match Game 73, Match Game 74, with Gene Rayburn. Oh, match game was fun. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, the ants. I, I killed all the ants there, Brian. Um, but yeah, it was all me. I wish I had something to give you for all the work you did. But I never really had much to start with. I guess now you'll be on your way, and I'll have to try living here by myself. I hope you'll come back and visit someday. Hmm. Well, I can't leave you here, Brian. Uh, let me find you a place to live. Really? You mean it? Oh boy, thank you so much. I'll wait in my old house for you to come back. I need to bury my papa anyway. Just don't forget about me. No, I actually know this really nice woman in Megaton. She needs help writing a book. She gives you all kind of great... All you gotta do is you gotta go out in the wasteland and just do those little projects for her. Um... I have to go now. You're pretty swell for... Oh, actually, no, I meant to ask him. I hope you found me a place to live. Uh, any idea where I could start looking for someone to take care of you? Well, Papa always told me about my cousin Vera. She lives in some big giant ship somewhere or something. Papa big, called the place ship. Rivet City, but I don't know where it is. Hmm, oh, you mean Diamond City? I know where Diamond City is. Uh, I've seen the recent version with Alec Ball. No, I didn't know that they revived it. I did not know that was a thing. They got it right, and Baldwin is perfect. Cool. I did not know that that uh, there was a new match game. Uh, let's see. All right, we'll go. Uh, we'll go talk to uh, your aunt at Rivet City. I wish I was tough like you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot to ask him about that. So yes, we have to go to Rivet City. And find a home for Brian. Hey, Cynipus, how you doing? I guess he's... It's fortunate he's not a relative of Moira. Yes. Uh, it's on Hulu. Oh, Batch Game's on Hulu? I, I should probably get Hulu. Like, I need another pay service right now. Um, alright. So what we're gonna do... Where are we here? Fort Independence is way out there. We're not that far. Let me take the overland route, swim over that way. 
Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's let's go hoof it. Is Brian voiced by the same voice actor as Billy? I don't believe so. I, I would be surprised if it was. Is this giving me a map marker? No, I have to... Uh, it's on him. Alright, so let's do this. No. I just want to put a map marker down. Yes. So I know which freaking way I'm going. Yeah, um... He probably sounds a lot older than he is. If it was the same voice actor, Billy would sound a hell of a lot older, I would think. Can I get out of here? Or am I eternally trapped in this part of Great Itch? I may be trapped here. Yep. Can't get out. Can't. Can't go that way. We have to go this way. It's probably almost break time, too. Alright, where the hell is the exit? Where'd you put the exits there, Brian? People come to Grey Ditch, but they can never leave. Because of the ants? No, because of the walls. The artificial walls. We gotta go out this way. I'm gonna need to buy some more ammo, too. Um, I don't want to go to Protector Kasdan just yet, because we are gonna hopefully have time to go and do next part of Wasteland Survival Guide. Just go to the Rodco facility. I was figuring we could stop by Fort Independence on the way there. Trying to recall the supposed difference between Fallout 3 and Fallout 4. Well, Fallout 3, uh, the main theme of the game is where's my dad. And in Fallout 4, the main theme is where's my son. Oh, time difference. Time oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> time difference. I just I just saw suppose, the, the, the main difference. Now, it is about 10 years. Roughly 10 years. Yeah, I, I, I saw that. I left out that one little bit of your little important word of your message there, can do. The time difference. No, just, uh. Sometimes it's hard for me to read the chat, actually. But yes, the stable genius is in the house. They respawned, didn't they? Son of a pup. Alright, let's say hello. Goodbye. Yeah, probably some spoilers, but Sunday. I actually recorded another couple episodes of my Let's Play character. And Kate called Olivia a genius. And I had to correct her. No, it's stable genius. more over here. Yep. Hello. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh. Are you... That's no. Right. Jericho, I don't think they are fucking kidding. Come on, game. Where are you? Come on. Hmm. Let's go for the arm. You mean that the... the... Oh, yeah. no, I'm stuck. You mean the Brotherhood? Rush him. It's not the gun I want to gain. Get 
game has a serious issue with changing weapons. If you're in the middle of an anime. I'm glad to see that the that's a tradition that lives on. <laughs> in Fallout 4. I'm mashing the 4 key, trying to ch switch weapons, and nothing's happening. Yeah, this all respawned. She has a pool cue. Run! Now there's uh, Bittercup complaining about the poetry again. Right, somebody over here had... Hey, I'm not going to take all the things. Where'd that one go with the... Uh... One of these guys had an assault rifle. Yeah, I'm... I don't want to get over in Cucumber. We're going to go sell this shit at Rivet City. You had that. You had 13 rounds of that. I'm just going to take those. And see what I can't, uh... uh... we don't want to lose the Naughty Nightwear. I'm tempted to... Tempted to give that to, uh, Bitter Cup, but that might get us banned if she puts it on. We don't want that. No, I'm kidding. Nothing's gonna happen. Hey, Michael, how you doing? Good to see ya. I can't believe that the Brotherhood... Doesn't come over here and, and uh, extend their perimeter a little bit. That makes no sense to me whatsoever. Because right, I wanted to get up close to him and, and switch over to the shotgun. Hey, Paladin Bale, how you Whoa. doing? What do you need, civilian? Of course. Oh, I want him to say, Steel be with you. I wanted to switch over to the shotgun. Game wouldn't let me switch. I'm hitting, mashing on the four key. Nothing happens. I got shot up pretty good. Yes. Carry on. Yes. Steel be with you. All right, we're going to swim across at the narrow point here. Eventually, I want to go by land. I want to go across the bridge and cut through there. Over one of these buildings, like over here, there's a bunch of super mutants. I know one of them has either a minigun or a missile launcher. There's a bunch of centaurs. It's Fallout 3 because... Oh, you mashed the... I, I see what you did there, Deckard. Now, I always put my shotguns... Hot, hot Keto's the four... Because I'm not smart enough to remember between games which weapons are, are what. So, four is consistently my shotgun. And, and vats and, and um, sneaking, everything is bound the same because I get too confused. I get even more confused when I go into New Vegas... And takes me about 15 minutes to remember that two changes ammo, not not a weapon. Although there was a mod that that made it so you could assign two to a weapon, and you can assign the um, ammo swap to something else. I think it was I think it was an FRC plugin. I'm sorry, an NVSC plugin. So I'm wondering if these mutants over here respawn. I'm gonna make a save. Once we get inside Rivet City, it's gonna be break time. Oh, we're far enough away. I don't. Have to, I don't have to be all sneaky yet. I see the fire. I don't know if anybody spawned over here yet, though. Yeah, if I if I have a pistol, I usually put that on one. I don't think these guys have respawned yet, which would make me happy. No, I think we're good. What the? Did I step in something? Yes, she did, Jericho. Yes, she did. Who would this be? Yeah. <laughs> nice headset you got there. Who are you talking to with that? Bye. Later. 
I can take the map marker off. Now let's do that. Alright, do a little trade-in, get Brian a new home. We should stop by the uh, underground hideout too since we're down here. And I'll probably fast travel back just, just to expedite things because it is getting late. Uh, maybe we'll expedite things and travel back to maybe Megaton or somewhere. Maybe just over to, maybe just, ah, eh, we'll see. We'll see. Do need to take a break while we're in here, though. Which I think is what I'm going to do right now. Quick break. Stretch the legs. I gotta get another water. Because there's no coffee tonight. Uh, short break just to get a fresh drink. Stretch the legs. Give you guys a chance to do the same. And when we come back, we'll do a little trading over here at Flack and Shrapnels and see if we can't find Brian Wilkes a brand new home. Hope you guys stick around for that. See you in just a few. Alright, we should be back. Thanks everybody for sticking around. And I just wanted to see here. Yeah, what is it? Sure, give me whatever you got. And what Jericho has here. Nothing I want to sell. I think we're going to stop by the hideout in... Uh, yeah. This remove some things from his inventory. Oh, hey. I was just trying to... You look like a vampire there, uh, cool. Bittercup. You look like a vampire. Here. This is for you. I'm gonna sell the conductors. Where'd you get a power fist from? Damn. I don't remember you having a power fist. Don't be a stranger. Okay. Keep writing that poetry. If you want a gun, you've come to the right place. Well, I don't know you. Don't care. Keep it short. Uh, we, we've, we've done business before. What's your problem? Loosen up, pal. I'm short on time, and your five minutes are up. See ya. What? I can't get that goddamn laser pistol what, what, what are you talking about? If you want any of this shit, just say so. Otherwise, keep your fingers the hell away from the triggers. I don't want no accident. <laughs> <laughs> Michael B. says, The scavenger you just met was Preston on his way to the Commonwealth. He was listening to the Minutemen station to see what settlements needed this help. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's awesome. I think you might be right about that. He was listening to Minutemen Radio. Uh, Kelly says, I think she'd like becoming a... Oh, she'd make a great vampire. Uh, buy some ordnance, please. What you looking for? Uh, I'm looking for a little bit uh, less of an attitude when I want to buy things, sir. Good day to you, sir. I'm going to hang on to the Ripper. I'll never use it. I'm probably going to hang on to this, too. I'd like to put that on the wall, on the weapons wall, in the hideout. I'm going to hang on to that. Don't want to sell less... Oh, we don't want to sell those. No, we don't. We do not want to... Wasteland Surgeon's outfit. You know what? I thought I had one of these already. I guess I don't. I have the lab uniform. I don't have that. I'm gonna hang on to the uh, Wasteland Surgeon's outfit. Sell those. Oh, don't want to sell that for sure. And we don't want to sell the sheet music, but we got to give that to Agatha whenever we get that quest done. I know I can make things out of all that stuff, but I'll, I never will. I've never crafted a single thing in this game. 5mm ammo? You know what? I'm just gonna sell it. Gonna sell it. 
Because I want to buy... What do you have for ammo? I'm going to buy your 5.56. Five, and your 10 millimeter. And shotgun shells I'm pretty good on. Uh, flamer fuel, you can have that. I want to get rid of that. It's amazing that mini, mini nukes weigh nothing. I'm so used to getting rid of mini nukes and missiles because they weigh so much in survival mode in 4. They're, they they weigh absolutely nothing. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Okay. Come back. Now, one of these days, Let I would me or a really, really like to play Fallout 3 in Tail 2 Wastelands on hey hardcore there. mode. This is lame. Problem is, a lot of the mods I want to use Don't won't work. Um, excuse me? Was there something else? Oh, this is the one with the railroad. That's right. Can I join the railroad? I, I kind of did join the railroad. You know what you need to do. Yes. Yes, I do. Weatherby Hotel. That's where we got to go. I'm going to talk to Miss We... Oh, is this our room? Yeah, I think we rented that room out already. Welcome to there she is. Supply. I've got a little bit of everything here. Miss Vera. Welcome back, ma'am. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, she's also the same voice actress as Bitter Cup. Uh, Jan Johns does Scribe Halen in Fallout 4. Um, let's get some rumors first. Have you heard any, any uh, other rumors there, Vera? They say Mr. Lopez is losing it. He stands on the top of the bridge tower for hours at a time, just staring out over the city. Um, Takethri says, a lot of fun with TT. That's, that's what I thought. I've tried, I tested out uh, a couple of the, uh, the needs mods for Fallout 3. I, I, first time I tried playing this game after reinstalling it about uh, almost two years ago, I, I, I tried with the, the Wanderers edition. And after like two days of that, I, that was too much. Too many changes, too many things I didn't like about it. I just wanted the survival needs and that was pretty much it. Tried a couple other ones. They seem to have some issues. So I figured if I could... If I ever want to do it, I'd do it in TTW and just use all the New Vegas stuff. But a lot of the mods I like using, they won't work. So that's a thing. Um, uh, by the way, Vera, your nephew Brian lost his folks and needs a place to live. Poor dear. I know what it's like to be alone. I'd love to take him in. Don't worry. I have the means to keep him fed and healthy. But most importantly safe. Uh, yeah, I know I can use the mobile truck base, but I'm talking for Fallout 3. I don't know if it works in Fallout 3 or not. Maybe it does. A lot of the mods for Fallout 3 I want to use don't work. Well, that's what I was referring to. Uh, but if the mobile truck base was worked in uh, the the, the uh, Capital Wasteland, now that would be pretty cool. But too many other mods I want to use will break. Or break the game. Um... I think Brian will love his new home. I'll send him along. Oh, that's wonderful. If you ever wander back into Rivet City, why don't you check up on us? You're always welcome. Oh, I gained all that karma I gained from picking that lock. Uh, you can only use New Vegas mods for TTW since it's an overhaul. Yeah, hey, that, that makes perfect sense. I, I do know that there have been some Fallout 3 mods converted over, but I don't think there are very many. There is a conversion for the mobile truck base. All right, I, I figured there would be. And I know that the Fallout New Vegas version of Underground Hideout, you can use that in TTW, but I don't think you can use the Fallout 3 version of it. And that's a deal breaker. But if I could use it, I would actually love to play this in, in like the hardcore mode. Just too many of the mods that try to add that to Fallout 3, they 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 don't just work. Fallout 3 hideout, underground hideout does work in TTW. Oh, okay, that's that's pretty cool. Is that a super mutant up there? It is. So they've respawned since we uh since we went inside. Alright, cool. Well, I will, uh, gonna have to look into some of that stuff, then. I don't see him up there. But there's one walking up 
the hill over here. I, I'd be surprised you know, that there wasn't, because it's, it's probably the most popular mod, or one of the most popular mods for the game. Right, we got a couple more of them here. Yeah, they respawn. Which, just at the time we were in Rivet City. Just in that little bit of time. Oh, good job. Good job, team. Okay, just gonna take the ammo. That one that's up behind the wall here respawned too. Yep, he did. So just in that time that we were in Rivet City, they frickin' respawned. Time to, time to what? Time to fly? Is that what you were gonna say? Time to fly, everyone. Jericho already has a minigun on him, but... Yeah, see, the containers don't respawn. The enemies come back, but not to the loot. Yeah, empty, empty, empty. Alright, let's head home. Let's head to our little underground hideout. Speaking of the underground hideout, let's go and get some rest there. Unload some equipment. I loot you. So I think I'm going to unload Jericho's equipment. I mentioned earlier, I think we're going to be trading him for another companion at some point tonight. I want to clear out his inventory. You gonna haunt this place here, Bittercup? Gotcha. I think at some point, because I've never done it before, you can clear all these cars out and build barricades and towers and stuff. I want to look into doing that because I've never done that. That might be kind of cool. No, we're not doing Gary tonight. We're going to do another part of Wasteland Survival Guide. Gary is up, uh, I think Walt, Walt 108 is up near Canterbury Commons, and we are not going that way. Um, Armory. I want to go to the Armory. We should have... Yep, we got... Our many Kens. Haha, -ha, Gary. Alrighty, Jericho. Yeah, what is it? Give me your shit. I mean, your equipment. Sure, give me whatever you got. Okay, so you are still using your your base weapon. You can hang on to those. Our charmer outfit. Yeah, we're gonna take that, that, that. You know what, I'll take these, because I think that's going to be our next stop. It's Fort Independence. Yeah, I do want to do Gary. Yep. I Still not dead, unfortunately. I want to do Gary when it's something I can either start off at the beginning of the stream, or set the, the right amount of time for it. We haven't even been to that part of the map yet, Here. so... This is for you. We won't be doing the Garys tonight. I'm actually going to probably move these down here. I'm not going to do it yet. I'm going to leave those in here. Actually, you know what? I will. Plasma rifle, the power fist. A bitter cup with a power fist. I'm sorry, with a plasma rifle. That could be interesting. Bitter cup in the, that power armor with a plasma rifle. Because she does, you know, 
we think she may have joined, grown up as uh, Scribe Halen, joined the Brotherhood. Actually, no. Told you Gary Vet's story to some friends. He was laughing his ass off. Gary Gary Vet? Oh, Gary Vet's oh gotcha, yeah. Are we playing Clue? With the candlestick in the conservatory? Uh weapons. Yes, I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted here. I want to repair some of the stuff down. Actually, one of these laser do I have another laser pistol up here? I do. How many of these do I have? Alright, I'm gonna grab... You know what? I'm gonna leave this laser pistol there. I'll take one of those. I will put both of those in there. These I'll give to, um... These laser pistols I'm going to give... Protector Kasdan. He can make good use of those. Okay, so there's the plasma rifle. There's the minigun. There's the ripper and the power fist. Cool. Maybe those who don't know, just tell the story once again. The Gary Gary Vet story. I'm drawing a blanket which one you're talking about, Deckard. I have so many stories. You're going to have to remind me which one you're actually talking about, because I'm not sure. the vet with my cat. God. I'm sorry. Either I'm tired or I'm just being a stable genius. I, I don't remember what, what you're talking about. It's in the waiting room. You're waiting to hear get... Oh, I vaguely remember that. <laughs> it's, it's coming back to you. It's going to take a little bit. Uh, no, we're done. So, I got plenty of weapons on the wall there. Um, I'd have to remember the whole story, though, before I could tell it, and I, I, I can. I'm not a, I'm not a monkey. I'm not a puppet. I can't Dance for your pleasure. Dance, monkey, dance. <laughs> I'm, I'm drawing a blank on it. I'm sorry. I just am. Um, totally drawing a blank on it. Uh, five millimeter ammo. I'm just going to sort out some of this ammo here. Which one uses five? I don't need that. I know I, I can lug this stuff around. It doesn't weigh anything, but... I'm not going to do that. Let's go sort the, uh, stock the shelves. At least, yes, this one. This one will stock all the things. Uh, there's a TTW conversion for Fallout 3 Underground. TT okay, cool. I, I thought that I saw one. The mannequins are funky, but everything else works. I, the mannequins are kind of funky anyway. It's like they... They always disappear for a split second when you equip them. And any time I come down into this cell. What does that do for my carry weight? Now, did I get rid of all the things I wanted to get rid of? No, I did not. Um, okay, I actually want to repair this up a little bit. If I'm going to be repairing stuff, I do want to save. Mannequins is like using stealth boys. Yeah, it's weird. It's like you you equip them, and it's like they think about, okay, what did he uh, what did he equip me with? They disappear, and then they come back. I mean, they they they, did, they do come back, and then when you load into the cell, they're not there when you first come in, and there's there's definitely a delay. Uh, Talon combat armor. That's what. Uh, what I want to get rid of. That's heavy, light. I guess I'll just put it in here. Get rid of that. We don't need that. The Naughty Knight, where we want to hang on to that. Uh, Merc Charmer outfit, Talon. That brings me back down to 275. I'm okay with that. 
or their nightkin. Something like that. So, 32 rounds, the 44 rounds. God, I wish... I wish I had the ambition to mod something like this for Fallout 4. Or script something like this for sorts. All your ammo shows up in its own individual places. That would be cool, but, uh, yeah. It ain't happening. Alright, so everybody's inventory should be cleared out. It's time to get some sleep. Oh, the, um... Oh! That's what I wanted. Okay. Nuka-Cola Quantums. I'm gonna start bringing those here. I've got, I think, eight or nine more down at the, um, I should say, up north, up at the mini hideout. Mannequins are alive. None of them are Kim Cattrall. <laughs> uh, they're, they're not as bad as the ones in Skyrim that follow you around. So what would you like to do with your Nuka-Cola machine? Get some ice-cold Nuka-Cola, add all Nuka-Colas you're carrying, and make them ice cold. Fill Nuka-Cola bottle? Will that fill that bottle up that I... Whoa. It will. Empty Nuka... Soda bottle removed. Bottle cap removed. Nuka-Cola added. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know it did that. I'd never done that functionality before. So if you have an empty Nuka-Cola bottle, it looks like it costs you one bottle cap. It'll fill it up and give you a filled one. That's pretty freaking cool. What does that do for my weight now? Oh, it took... Okay, I have to go get some ice cold Nuka Cola. I have to get these back now. So we're gonna take, I'm gonna take five. That's why my carry went, weight went down so low. Got it. Okay. Works with regular empty soda bottles as well. See, I never knew that. I've been using on my my last attempt at finishing the game a mod that basically recycled the bottles, and I'm. Still, I'm basically trying to train myself not to pick up bottles because I don't need them, but but now I kind of actually think I do. That's pretty awesome. I was not aware it did that. The things you find out by pressing buttons. Now, all the times I've used this mod, I haven't pushed all the buttons in it, so there's a lot of things I, do, I don't know what they do. I just started using the sorting stuff on this, on this character. Okay, so I think we're good. I think we're ready to go. We have to go back and talk to Brian Wilkes. I think what we'll do, we'll fast travel back to Great Itch. So we don't have to go through that again. And then we will hoof it over to Fort Independence and up to the Robco facility. We'll do that bit of the Wasteland Survival Guide, and it's probably all I'm going to have time to stream tonight. So let's get a move on. Let's make another save here. Yeah, I think I get, just gotta come into the hideout and spend some time just pushing the buttons and things, because it's pretty cool. All right, Jericho. Uh, Takethri says, I like, unlike other labs, you can choose what compound the ultra... Yes, I noticed that. Rather than just giving you a random one, you can choose. And I, I think the next time I do... Um, a player home that has a My First Laboratory in it, I'm going to modify the script to do that. Rather than just pulling a random one from a form list. It's going to do that. Actually, I was going to fast travel. Yeah, I like that. I like that uh, you get to choose. So we're just going to fast travel back to Great Itch just to ex excuse me, expedite things a little bit. We're on the verge of leveling up, too. There's plenty of cash in being good, Jericho. Look at this. We've got... Okay, we don't have quite 3,000 caps. So maybe there isn't quite so much cash in being good, but it's a thought that counts. Oh, no, he's in his house. He's in his house burying his dad. That's right. He's no longer... No longer in the refrigerator. Upstairs there, Brian? There he is. Let's turn some light on and talk to him properly. I hope you found me a place to live. Good news! I sure did, Brian. Vera said she'd take you in. You really found her? 
Oh, thank you so much. I can't believe everything you've done for me. <laughs> Cleaned up Most real good, didn't he? Most people would have kept on walking when I ran up to them screaming like I did. I'll get my stuff together and move on out there right away. Come visit me sometime. Nice. Looks like we did level up, too. Yeah, actually, Brian, you didn't come up running to me this time around. Oh, he does definitely sound like Billy. Don't let them hurt me. Uh, yeah, Brian did not, for the first time in, in memory, Brian Wilkes did not come and force greet me screaming at the Super Duper Mart. He was nowhere to be found. I He was standing right outside the diner here in Great Itch. I thought he was broken. Um, and if he doesn't come find you, sometimes you'll run into a wastelander that will tell you that oh, they're burning down Grey, Grey Guard. Burning down Great Itch, and the, that's how you start the quest, but... Brian was just hanging out here doing his thing. I guess you told him where it is since he didn't know before. Yeah, that's true. Yep. Secretly, I, I, I part of the uh, the ant strength perk, the ant might perk, is I have brain. I can beam the directions to Rivet City directly into his brain. Uh, I want to put some into energy weapons. I'm going to put one energy weapons up to 38 for now. Repair, I'd like to bring up to 65. Oh, what was I thinking here earlier? Speech is okay. Sneak, I'm going to put sneak up to 35. Science! I'm going to bring that up to 55. And the other four, I was thinking I should probably do lockpick. Let's do lockpick. That works for me. I have a brain. <laughs> Uh, oh, we can do power armor training now. Yes. Level 10. This is a from mod by Gopher. Level 10, science of 40, and strength of 7. You've received the specialized training needed to move any any form of power armor. I'm going to hold off on that. I've got the one set of power armor. i got the outcast power armor, which is cool. I It's in horrible shape, though, because the corpse I looted it off. Got killed to death pretty good. It's 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 really bad shape. So it would take quite a bit to repair it. I don't want to use power armor right away anyway. So I'm going to hold off on that. Uh, let's see. I was thinking of taking... Uh, I could take here and now. Perk immediately grants an additional level of experience. Complete with all the advantages that brings. I'm going to hold off on that. Swift learner... I don't want to level up too quickly, so I'm not going to take that. Child at Heart. I definitely want to take that at some point. Blood Belly. That hasn't been a problem. Yeah, that one you need neutral karma. That's not going to work. Finesse. With a finesse perk, you gain a higher have a higher chance to score a critical hit on an opponent in combat, equivalent to five extra points of luck. Well, that's not too bad. Night person, I'm not doing very much at night. Commando, using a rifle, your accuracy and bats is significantly increased. Or similar, you know what, we're going to take commando. Because I noticed with the Chinese assault rifle against those fire ants, I wasn't doing too hot. So we're going to go with commando. For that extra, extra, extra accuracy and bats. And then we're going to save before we go back out. I'm going to turn off the Pip-Boy. Alright, so next. We got Brian home. I got Lesko's lab coat. I got the Ant Mite perk. It's now time to head on to the quest for Miss Moira Brown. Wasteland Survival Guide. Install the processor widget in the Robco Production Facility mainframe. I has had holding off on this to get my science skill up a little bit, but I checked. And I do have the science skills required. Especially now that I just put a few more points in the science. But even more now I got Lesko's lab coat. I uh, need a there's a, a terminal that you have to ha be able to hack. Well it's an optional part of it, but it helps to hack it, so. Science 50 to hack that terminal. We're good to go there, so we're gonna go. Install the processor widget in the Robco production facility mainframe, and that is out here. So 
that is the next part of Wasteland Survey. We gotta go right past into Fort Independence for the outcast, which is a beautiful thing. Uh, actually, let me grab those... Yeah, what is it? Those, um, sensor modules from my chain-smoking friend here. Sure, give me oh, whatever you got. I did already. I did already. I did already. I have how many sensor modules here? I have six. And I have two laser pistols. Grab some more 5.56 five, ammo from the outcast. And all will be right with the world. I'm getting bored. And Bittercup's getting bored again. Surprise, surprise. Next she'll be saying she's got dark poetry to write. And I have no idea what's between Great Itch and Fort Independence, so... I have not a clue. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez, oh, I see a whole shitload of red marks. This what do we have over here? Oh, boy. Oh! Oh, we have all kinds of friends. Hmm. All kinds of wonderful friends. I should have a bunch. I got 30 frickin' frag grenades. Try not to die. So that is the catchphrase of the day. The operative word. Try not to die. We got him? We got him. No, we didn't. We didn't get them all. Oh, we got more raddies. Oh, look at you. Yep. Okay. Get away from my dog. Good job, everybody. Alright. Thank you for that reminder, Deckard. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I saw those all those red marks down there, and I was like, oh Jesus. All these enemies, but it was actually the um the mole rats. Let's see if we can find any caps down here. Yes, reminding me not to die is a very helpful thing. Because sometimes I forget. You know, I will take that for uh, repairing mine, even though I have plenty of stuff. I'll take the shotgun shells, I'll take that for repairs. Yeah, I think they're running like a little mole rat racing track here, it looks like. They're having mole rat races. And we, we ruined it off for them. It's the precursor to Easy City Downs, everyone. Wouldn't it be great if you could turn this little track into a settlement? Just kidding. Yeah, there's nothing else down here. I do see an ammo box. Ron is in this game. Ron narrates the beginning and the end. But he doesn't tell you that you're stupid because you're dead. Yeah, what... Wouldn't it be great if after after you saved everyone in Big Town, you can turn Big Town into a settlement? That would be awesome. <laughs> See, even Jericho thinks so. <laughs> Jericho even thinks that's a wonderful idea. How far are we? Oh, we got it. Got a bit of ways to go, but Fort Independence is about halfway there. Can't see anything with the shrubs. Now, famous last words, but I'm going to try not to get sidetracked on exploring locations tonight. I can't see anything. What do we got? What are we shooting at? 
Jeez. Oh, Raider. Nope, you guys, you guys, boom. Big bada boom. Couldn't hurt big time to have a few actual grown-ups around. No, you're at, that's that's a good point. Um, NPCs travel. After you finish Big Town, NPCs travel. Add some pretty so awesome guards. Are you afraid, boy? Who are we shooting at here? Sam Warwick. Do we know who Sam Warwick is? He looks hostile. Yeah, um... NPCs travel. I think we're gonna go for... I, I don't remember who Sam Warwick is. Yeah, after you complete, um... A Little Trouble in Big Town, NPCs travel will add... There's They patrol outside the grounds, and they're pretty heavily armed, too. They got plasma weapons, and they're all decked out. They look pretty awesome. So... I don't remember who Sam is, but... Enclave Ibot doesn't seem to like him. He's showing up as hostile here. Sam's a random encounter. Uh, he like, what's his name there? In Fallout 4. The guy with the power armor. Not the power armor. That guy, uh, um... I want to say his name's Caliban. A Absalom, thank you, Decker. You knew what I meant. Yeah, he must be the Absalom of... Oh, three. He's got a sniper rifle. Yeah, we'll leave the rest of the shit. Can always use another sniper rifle to repair mine. President John Henry Eden. Whoops. Okay, did we get sidetracked again? Yes, we did. I don't think I've ever run into Sam Warwick before. So I had no idea who he was. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is the car dealer. Oh, I remember this. I'm not going to go in right now. Oh, Christ. We're going to go in right now. I don't want to get sidetracked, but... Yes, I need to get the Wazer Wifle from Bowie. Yeah. Um, I don't think that there's anything in here now, though. Doesn't uh, the Wanderer's Edition, isn't this where you get the motorcycle that you can use for fast traveling? I'm pretty sure it is. Ooh! That was worth coming in here for, just for that ammo. Speaking of Absalom, the last time I ran into... Well, actually, no, not the last time I ran into him. The last time I ran into him was in Quincy. Time before that was in that car dealership down near... Um, The Fallons. There was at the uh, West Roxbury area, West Roxbury Station. How do you get up there? Hey, you can get up there. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna. Oh, U.S. Army 30 handy flamethrower recipes. Yes, please. Yes, please. Last time I ran into him was not at Fort Hagen. Last time I ran into Absalom was in Quincy. In that random encounter warehouse there. Uh, let's see. Let's eat a book. U.S. Army 30... Handy flamethrower recipes. Big guns increased by two. That was delicious. Uh, the Guthrie's usually find them by the crash plane by Grey Pines? Oh, Ten Pines. Ten Pines Bluff. <coughs> Some reason the phrase, Hidden City of Absalom is making my brain tingle. <laughs> it does sound like it should be a location. No, I, I ran into him down in Quincy, and then the time before that, in that car dealership. It was Roxbury. There was some other... I actually think I've run into him one other time, and I can't remember where. I had no idea who the hell he was.
Use the skill book display in the underground hideout. I don't have it. I, I ate the skill book. Yeah, I've been eating all my skill books. So I don't have any to put on display. My New Vegas underground hideout, I've got a bunch on display. Oh, maybe I'm think. Maybe. I, I don't know. I, I've got so many. Oh, shit. Got so many Fallout 4 characters. Did we? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay, I don't want. I don't want that weapon anymore. If I did have him at Fort Hagen, I don't remember which character it was at, but on my Let's Play, or my Livestream character, the Railroad character, he was definitely down in Quincy. We had to go down there to get the damn uh, dead drop that the game decided to put way the hell down there. Yeah, you got a missile launcher. We did go to Fort Hagen when we played Fourville. Maybe that's the last time. What are we time. standing around here for when there's plenty of action? Or I, uh, no, I don't want to give anything to you. Yeah. Because you're going to be going away. God, life is such a hassle, you know? Uh, let's trade equipment there, Miss Bittercup. Oh, yeah? What oh, that's not what I wanted. No, that's all. <laughs> oh, hey, I was just trying to think of a word that rhymes with gloom. Are you still trying? Trying? Trying to find that word? Here. This is for you. Alright, you can carry that. Uh, so tempting to give her the naughty nightwear. I'm not sure she's 18, though, so we're not gonna do... <laughs> I'm sure she is. Oh, that sniper rifle is absolutely no good. We, we don't want to carry that around. Yeah, it's not one of those streams. Uh, so, yeah, I didn't even check the condition on this. That we just... Not worth lugging around. Didn't we come through here already? Wait a minute. Fairfax, I could have sworn we cleared this out already. Character confusion strikes again. We have Over not even here. discovered this oh, yet. Come on. You guys you have a lot of ammo for me. Yeah, I, I think maybe we came through here on another character. I could have sworn we cleared this out already, but apparently not. Weapon repair kit. I will take that. And we have somebody else here, too. I've got one! Bring it! No. Come on, game. Oh, jeez. Don't get blown up, Jericho. There's another one down there. Oh, where are you going? Yeah, you just chucked... He just chucked, a, like, three grenades. Yep. Did you go run behind the wall here? Oh, no, there's... Oh! Uh-oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I didn't want that. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I forgot that was a thing. I forgot that was a thing. Oopsies. It's like that one in uh, Old Olney. I always forget the one about the one in Old Olney. Always. I guess we're getting sidetracked, everybody. Lots of ammo, though. I don't need any frags. There's 
So how the hell do we get out of here? Aha! Where's the switch? There's the switch. I don't know that I've... I do get sidetracked. It's kind of hard not to in these games. Would you die, die, fucking die, as Jericho would say. Jericho's words, not mine. Well, this is a fine how do you do. Did not expect to be coming down in here. But, weapon repair kit and some ammo and some XP, we'll take it. We will take it. And I'll also make a save here, too, because... Oh, that would be one way of not getting stuck down here, is to have something happen. Do you think so? Incredible strike. Oh, you're stupid. And dead. I don't remember this cell at all. This is lame. It is not lame, Bitter Cup. We are having fun. We're having fun, Bitter Cup. This is how you have fun. Is that another bent tin can? Yes, it was. Hmm. Nope. Oh, boy. I think we're not going to go down there if we don't have to. If we can find an easy way out of here, that's what we're going to do. I don't know where the hell this ends up. I don't remember this cell at all. Uh-huh. Ah. Where is this? Oh, 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 shit. Damn it. I saw it, and I tried to run. God damn it. I got to heal up with here. Let's stop relying on the stim packs. Uh, ice cold Nuka Cola. That'll help. That doesn't go out. Oh, maybe this goes outside. More landmines. Traps. There we go. Oh, cool. I don't remember that at all. Not at all. I want to go explore that some more, but not tonight. Oh, so it's up here. All right. I freaking don't remember it. All right. I don't know who else is over here, but let's, let's get rid of them. Fort Independence is not very far away. Oh. Oh, there you are. It's a freaking turret. Nice job. Nice job. Hmm. I'm just going to take the ammo at this point. Oh, we could have probably disarmed those turrets on that terminal. That's okay. There's a bed if we need to sleep. Okay. Yeah, we're not far from Fort Independence now, so... Nuh-uh. -uh. <laughs> I was just thinking about nuh -uh this afternoon. I was watching somebody uh, on YouTube stream Fallout 4. Had Piper with him, and I kept thinking, nuh -uh. Ah, uh, the combat zone. Fort Independent should be right... Right there, actually. I think we'll take the map marker off here of the, um... Yeah. Nope. 
Oh, I, I thought I had—I thought I had one set. Apparently, I didn't. I'm not getting tired at all. All right, here's Fort Independence. So we're halfway there. It will be dark by the time we get to the Robco facility for sure. Hello, Protector Kasdan, sir. Keep that tech coming, and we'll make it worth your while. All right. Well, look who it is. What have you got for us today? I have a bunch of technology to turn in. Let's see what you've got. Uh, how about a laser pistol? We can always use another one of these. How'd you like your payment? Um, let's see. I would like 556 five, ammo. Here you go. Try not to use it all in one place, unless you have to. Yeah, I don't think it's... He it's not Heather Kasdan's dad... Um, I think it's her uncle. It's a relation, but it's definitely not her dad. Her dad was a scribe, I think she said. Uh, but he is related to her, though. That's where the name comes from. Uh, how about another laser pistol for you? We can always use another one of these. How'd you like your payment? Uh, Kelly says, since the last time we talked about Fort 3, Fort 3 have completed the pit and have 44, more 44 ammo than I know what to do with. I, I remember you saying something that you were having a hard time finding it. And then uh, that you were going to the pit. I, I, I like the pit. We're going to be playing that eventually. Because it looks cool. That's It looks like it's something you could probably do in one stream, too. Which would be awesome. Uh, 556, five, please. There you go. Try not to use it all in one place, unless you have to. I've uh, got more sensory... I think I had a total of six, I think. It's practically junk. junk. But yes, we can there get we some go. use out of it. How'd you like your payment? Five, five, six. Here's hoping you don't have to use it, but who? It's practically junk. That... How'd you like your payment? Unless you're completionist, it's an afternoon. Oh, okay, cool. Here's hoping you don't have to use it, but who am I kidding? It's practically junk, but we can get some. How'd you like your payment? Yeah, because I know there are some side quests. I think I've seen people skip those or. I can't remember. It's a very cool world space that they built for it, though. I like it a lot. Here's hoping you don't have to use it, but who am I kidding? It's practically junk, but we can get some use out of it. How'd you like your payment? Ammo, please. Here's hoping... How many of these do I have? How'd you like... Here's hoping... It's practically junk. But we can get some use out of it. Junk. How'd you like your is it, payment? Is it now? <laughs> Thanks, Deckard. Um, I had no idea it was practically junk. Here you go. Try not to use it all in one place unless you have to. It's pra How'd you like... Here you go. God, how many of these it's did I have? How'd you like your payment? Uh, Kelly says, it's great atmosphere, nice to have an actual moral conundrum in three. Yes. And I've been thinking about which way I want to go this time around, because I think I've played it twice? i played it twice. That's the only Fallout 3 DLC I've played more than once, I think. Or did I do Operation Anchorage twice? I did, I did, I know I did do the pit twice, and I decided to go the same way both times. I may want to go the different way this time. Here's hoping you don't have to use it, but who am I kidding? It's... How'd you... Here's hope. Wow, how many of these did I have? It's, how'd you... I thought I only had like six of these. Here's hope. Okay, I guess that's it. Okay, then. Uh, see you later. Bye. Bye. Later. So... I, that was a, a little bit of ammo I got there from him. I had ten. That's what I thought. I thought I had eight, six or eight, but I guess it was ten. Well, it was a lot for, for ammo. It was menis. Menis of the sensor units and things and stuff that was practically junk. Let's drop another save here. I'm going to heal up a little bit here, too. Let's top off the health. Did I get any blood packs? I got 17 blood packs. Let's start using some of those up. Those don't really do much of anything, do they? Oh, you know what I got to do? I got to go and do... Uh, we still have to go do... The Arafu quest for Lucy West. That finish that up, and those will uh, those will do a lot more than one. 
Yeah, not bad considering it was all practically junk. Exactly. Hey, if everything that you could make a living on was practically junk, I think more people would be doing it. Laser pistols, I gave those to them. Uh, you could also, I, you also get, um, I got the ammo for them too. I gave them laser pistols. Everything you turn into them, you get like a bunch of trust points. And I know like the laser pistols, laser rifles, that kind of technology, power armor, and the Zeta weapons will earn you a lot more trust points than just turning in junk and scrap metal. Well, maybe I only gave him one laser pistol. I know I gave him the one. I think I had two. No, I gave him both. I gave him both. Right, what I am going to do, though, let's repair some of this stuff down. Condense some things. That's good. Alien blasters are the best. Best hand. Yeah, I think the Zeta weapons that they uh, they give you the most points for. You still can never. Oh, what do we got? Tin cans. You still never get the opportunity to go inside their fort. What are we shooting at here, kids? Oh, frickin' Yalgwai. Shit. That's not the gun I want. Come on, game. Shit. I keep hitting the damn. Hitting three, activating the hunting rifle when I want the assault rifle. And the game doesn't want me to switch back. Yeah, no matter how many points you, event points you get, you can still never get access to the inside of the fort. You can pick the lock, but they'll automatically turn hostile. But you do get to a point where you're considered their friend. But they never give you the key to the castle. There's... What are we shooting at? Oh, Red Scorpion. There's Ten Penny Tower. Which we haven't been to yet. We'll have to go there at some point. I think this is the back. The back of it? I can't remember. Alright, here's where we gotta go, the Robco facility. Oh, well, maybe this is the front. Hey, that's who we want. That's who we're looking for. Where are you going? No, don't go away. Come back here. Tinker Joe. Another glorious day in this man's Tinker arm. Joe. Remember me? Tinker Joe at your service? Robots um, for sale, robot service while you wait. Interested? I th think, you know what, we did run into him and I didn't have the caps to, uh, to buy a robot. Um, what are you selling again? I, I kind of can't remember. You might be surprised at what you can use to keep a robot working. Oh, you can actually trade with him, but uh, that's all well and good. Use sensor module. Um, I'd like to buy a robot. Of course you would, of course. Well, it just happens that I've got a beaut of a deal on this customized Gutsy. And it's not just Mr. Gutsy. He's a full-fledged sergeant. Sergeant RL-3, to be precise. The pride of General Atomics International. Comes complete with a simulated personality unit. So he's good protection and good company, too. And all yours for just 1,000 caps. Hmm... Simulated personnel. I probably should put my um my bartering gear on. I keep forgetting I have that. Um, I'm using a mod that bypasses the karma checks. So normally I think it's neutral that you need for RL3, but uh, yeah, we're we're just gonna get him anyway. Uh, simulated personality sounds like trouble. To tell the truth, it is a little trouble, but he can't help the way he got built. General Atomics programmed the Mr. Gutsy to be a good soldier. But their definitions were a bit vague, so a lot of units had... issues. So we got a gung-ho robotic soldier that's picky about the company he keeps. But he seems to like you, so it'll be fine. 
<laughs> He's the vault tech rep. Did you hear it when he said, of course. Let me just take this over to the vault. <laughs> um, yeah, he, he can't help the way he was built. He's like Jessica Rabbit. She's not dirty. She's just drawn that way. Um, all right, so we can pass the barter check. Uh, how about this? I'll take him off your hand for 500 caps. That's a hard bargain. But if I wake up with that thing playing Reveille at me one more time, I'll go insane. I'll just transfer the codes and you've got a deal, friend. Here's hoping for the best for you and the sergeant alike. Okay, thanks a lot, Tinker Joe. Yeah, see you. Alright. So we now have... Move along, please. Our metal friend that's fun to be with. Salutations, Commander. Sergeant RL3, Gutsy Class, Robotic Soldier, reporting for duty. Um, let me access your storage module. RL3 comes equipped with everything a good soldier needs, but your RL3 can assist in carrying equipment if needed. Alright. We are temporarily going to travel with everybody we have, and then we're going to say farewell to Mr. Jericho. When we get back to Megaton. Move along. You, you, you know your time is up, right, Jericho? Are these... They're just regular Brahmin. Yes, the plastic pal who's fun to be with. I'm sure I remember what it actually was. He's the metal pal that's fun to be with. Alright. Yeah, I've had the, uh, the mad Brahmin spun over by Megaton. Recently. On my test character. I wanted to make sure it wasn't them. So what we have to do is make our way... I think it's the third floor? Oh, our L3. Oh, we gotta go. This is the better way to go. There's all kinds of things in here. Whoa. Sorry, Snuffles. Very sorry, Snuffles. At least I think this is the better way to go. I'm looking for... Yeah, I think it's over here. I think there's a book over this way. Yes. Big book of science. I can sell. Sensor module. I hear skittering. Uh, here you are. Oh, there's a pre war book. Take that. Sir, searching for targets. Oh, I knew there was something else here. So... We have to go up? We have to get up there. No longer well rested. Where are you going? The big book of science! I'm gonna hold off consuming that right now. are dead. How to the animal friend perk of fall through so I don't have to kill all the snuffles anymore. <laughs> Probably some something I should do at some point. Too many perks, too little time. Damn it. Yeah, we're going back to the shotgun. I hear another snuffles. Oh, come on, game. No. Oh, this is a dead end. All right, that's not where we want to be. Aha! Door to offices and cafeteria. That's what we do. Doesn't hurt that the damn Yagwais are friendly now. Oh, really? 
Well, that's... I don't, I've never, ever taken that perk. If I have, I, I don't remember it. Look at this. Look at the size of this thing. Wow. Good job, everybody. I don't think that was a bent tin can. Hang on a second. If that wasn't a bent tin can, I don't want it. It was not. Can't use the, the regular tin cans. Only the bent ones. I hear you. Where are you? Don't you bleed on me! How could I freaking miss? I freaking miss. <laughs> right on top of him, I freaking miss. Kelly says, I took it once to New Vegas for a pacifist run. That's something I've never even thought about doing. Because I think it would probably last 10 minutes. Do you have anything up here? I've got your back. Thanks, Bitter Cup. While well, you're writing your poetry? And I got that. Okay. Hello. Damn it, RL3. I hit my new robot. Bam. Flying mole rat. Mole rats that defy gravity. Robco is working on some pretty awesome stuff here. Gravity defying mole rats. I'll take the bottle caps. Definitely take the bottle caps. Ooh. Stealth boy. I want to see that there's another book around somewhere, though. Ah, there it is. DC Journal of Medicine. Stimpaks. Let's make sure. I hear the squishy feet. You must be upstairs. Oh, you're right there. This is where we got to go. I want to go take a look around first, though. Bada boom. Oh, hello. Uh, sensor module, conductor. I think I'm going to leave that. Once I go back to Rivet City, Moira does not have any caps left. Let's go this way. Oh. I'll loop that in a minute. Hmm. Those don't weigh anything. I can take those. Cigarettes are always good. Okay. I think. Oh no, no, we're not ready. Not, not quite yet. I'm getting bored. Oh, bitter cup. We'll take care of that. Don't you worry. Personal footlocker. What is in the personal footlocker? Whoops. Another stealth boy and seven bottle caps. Nice. We'll take that. Alright. Where is that room? 
so this is the terminal that we are looking for. God, another stealth boy. And another pre-war book. Cool. Unlock this. Alright. Probably a good time to make a save. So, the Robco production mainframe. Oh, I have to unlock this. Right, we should be good. Uh, oh, we don't need to unlock it to uh, install the processor widget. Processor widget looks like it should fit neatly into this mainframe. Install the processor widget. Uh-oh. So, what we gotta do now is we gotta hack it. And getting absolutely no duds. Not a single friggin' dud. Three out of nine. It's not gonna be it. It's not gonna be it. I think it'd be time to put Lesko's lab coat on. Hey! We got it. Nice. Or not. <laughs> Uh, okay, so, orientation guide, Con whoops, orientation guide, I keep forgetting that, uh, Fallout 4, you click on it, it, it will stop the redraw, this it advances you. Uh, congratulations on your transfer to the position of robot protocol operator. Your trusted co-workers will be the standard Protectron models stationed throughout the facility. Basic operation covers the day-to-day -day functionality of your co-workers as described in detail in your training manual. Pest extermination encourages your co-workers to track and sanitize any roaches, rodents, or other undesired pests on premises. Total liquidation removes your co-workers' humoid safety protocols and is for use only in the unlikely event of criminal intrusion or communist attack. Robot shutdown allows you to temporarily retire your co-workers for their regular maintenance or in the case of accident and liquidation commands. We trust you'll find the work simple, rewarding, and extremely safe. Enjoy. Okay, so basic operation. Initiate pest control. Cease total liquidation. This is obviously active. This is the one that's active, so I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to turn off total liquidation so that they don't kill us to death. Ceasing sequence Kami attack. Alright, so apparently you still considered that one. Are you going to turn them all hostile on us there, Jericho? Nope, you're not hostile. You're not hostile. Jericho must have still been aggroed from that one. So they're still going through, and sounds like they're shooting the, um, the rad roaches. We've been in here already. I will take the... Whoop! Tin cans for repair. They found some rad roaches or mole raddies. We're all fine here now. Whoa! Friend. Friend. Yeah, any of those other... Oh, we can go through here. Any of those other options, and I think that they are all hostile. We didn't come this way. Let's see what we can see. Makes it a little easier getting out, but you... Well, I only had 20, 19 bobby pins? Oh, boy. That's not good. Shit. Oh, Christ. This is an easy lock, too. Yeah. Why can't I get this? Come on. There we go. Hope it was worth it. Eight... Eight shotgun shells. That was it. The other ammo I won't use. 
At least not anytime soon. Okay, you're dead. Okay, you probably get a decent amount of amount of XP. If they were hostile, you can kill them all, but. Oh well. This makes it a lot, a lot easier. So we have to get back downstairs. I'm trying to find the exit. Sir, I am on the lookout. Thanks for that report, RL3. Alright, there should be another Move door around. Along, please. Yeah, I think that's what we're looking for there. Robco factory floor, yes please. Got, uh. Oh, that's the dead end. I'm moving along. I am moving along. It's 12. Has been eliminated. 12 13 in the morning. It's gonna be dark. Alright. Well, leave them to it. They're hard at work in there. Time to save. Oh, we didn't go over here. Let's see what's in the, the bathrooms here. If there's any... Oh. Take a nuclear cola. Let's see if there's any um, first aid boxes or anything. Does not seem to be. Oh! Well, that's interesting. At least it's not a teddy bear reading a newspaper. You guys got things under control here? Move along, please. I see an ammo box. Move along, please. Distract him. 69, 69, 556. That was worth it. I missed that one the first time around. All right. Let's head outside. We got to go home. Tinker Joe's still out there. Hello, Brahmin. So we'll go back to the uh, the mini hideout. How far are we here? Kind of would like to walk. Eh, it's not too terribly far. We'll do it. We'll take a chance that we won't meet certain death in the dark. It's really not that dark. Now, wasteland, um, realistic wasteland lighting doesn't make it as dark as, uh, what was I using last time? Fallout? That makes it incredibly dark. This probably looks a lot better on stream, too. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Where's that coming from? Oh, the game froze. The game just froze. Uh-oh. That's not good. Well, that's not good. Glad I just saved. That's what's what ended my last run, is the game starting to freeze. And that uh, sometimes it doesn't just work. Yep, that's not good. So we are tw 20, almost 22 hours into this character. That's That's the first problem we've had. I'm gonna get that ammo again now. Damn it. Move along, please. Yeah, that's what ended my last run, is the game just along, continuously please. freezing after playing for quite a while. We'll see what happens this time around. But that's why you save. It's Fallout 3 and Windows 10. That's why you save. That is actually the first thing we've had in all... Like, almost 22 hours on this character, so... Not happy about it, but... Could be worse. 
Uh, I actually did restart the game during the break. So, every time it, when I'm playing uh, this or New Vegas, every time I take a break, I quit the game and relaunch it. So we haven't, we've only been playing for about, oh, hour and a half maybe since the break? I can't remember. Well, hopefully that's not going to be a, uh, a thing. Because that's what ended my last, my last playthrough. Got to like level, actually right about, <laughs> right, right where we are now, right around level 10, 11, and the game started randomly freezing. So, oh boy. Last playthrough got defeated by Todd. Got defeated by something. And that character I had probably almost... I had at least 50 to 60 hours on. I can't remember now. Even though I was only at the same level I am now, I was using a mod that reduced the XP by... Uh, almost, almost half. Around 40%-ish, I think. Level up far more slowly, so 60 hours in almost, and I was only like level 10, 10 or 11. And we got something over here. Wow, RL3. RL3 with the plasma bolt. I have poetry I need to write. Uh, what's exactly the problem with Windows 3 and in, in, uh, Fallout? It's just programs that you well back. When um, there used to be a mod called the Fallout Stutter, well, there is a mod called Fallout Stutter Remover, and it worked perfectly fine until there was some Windows 10 update that broke a key function of it, as in the, uh, the stuttering remover, the stutter remover part of it. You could use it if you turn that off, which kind of defeats the purpose of using it. There's a Yaogwai on fire over here, it looks like. So you need several mods in Windows 10 to actually make it playable. Windows 7 as well, but... Dead. Windows 7, you can use the stutter remover perfectly fine. Windows 10, after whatever Windows 10 update they had, unless you disable the core functionality of actually removing the stutter, the game will freeze or crash quite consistently, like within minutes. So luckily, there's an alternative, the Fallout 3 tick fix, which is what I'm using now. It's specifically made for Windows 10, and that's what I'm using. Without, without the stutter remover, you get this really noticeable stutter, like, every few frames. The, um, it's something to do with the engine. Like, every, every fourth frame... There's a noticeable stutter. It's like the game doesn't render at a full 60 frames a second, and... I'm just going for memory now. So every fourth frame, it tries to catch up, and you know there's there's a noticeable stutter. Stutter remover was supposed to fix that, and it does. It works perfectly fine in Windows 7, but not in Windows 10. Bug in the renderer thread. Yeah, it's like it. It's like every fourth frame or something that it tries to catch up, and you get that skip. Recently, watching someone play. Oh, we're almost. We're here already. Well, that didn't take long. Watches somebody recently play New Vegas. Stutter remover kept making his game crash, so he just turned it off. And oh my god, it was painful to watch him play without it. Use the tick fix. It drops frames. Oh, okay, that's what it is. Yeah, well, it's definitely noticeable. Oh, that looks so cool. 
Deputy Weld. That looks freaking awesome. Look at that. Doc Hoff. I don't need anything. For Actually, I Good do. Good to see you. Oh. Looking for your fix? You came to the right man. Uh, let's see what you have. I'm here to buy. Tell me what you need, and maybe uh, I've got your fix. I'll take all those stim packs. And sell him some of my things. Not the Lesko's lab coat. I don't know what I'm going to do with a bandana. You can have that, sir. Cigarettes, that, the conductors, fishing battery. Sensor modules. Nope, we want to hang on to those. Thanks. Thanks. Cheers. Okay. Alright. But I'm using the tick fix for both this and New Vegas, and it's been pretty awesome. This game has been buttery smooth, other than that one freeze. I get no stutter. Once in a great while crossing a cell border, it might stutter a little bit, but that's just because it's loading everything in. I get that in Fallout 4 quite a bit. Um, what are we doing here? We can't turn the quest in yet. So, well, I've been, other than that one freeze, I've been doing pretty damn good. to get rid of the rads that I might have. We're going to sleep. Let's see. That would be... Let's do a full eight hours. We'll go turn this quest into Moira and bid adieu to Mr. Jericho. Bitter cop, you decided to actually come down the hallway for a change. I'm impressed. And you know what I'm going to do while we're here? Because I think off stream. I'm going to go back to the hideout. Oh, I don't have any more books in there. Yep. Still not dead, unfortunately. Uh, Kelly says, verified game cache, installed the 4 gig patch, and haven't had a problem with 3 cents. That's cool. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like there's so much... That's the other issue too is that here this is for you if you want to mod the game or even if you don't want to mod the game you really need to put that four gigabyte patch on and i have the gog version which came with that already installed and the uh the games for windows live patch okay one i'm gonna give those to her i think off stream i will zip back to the hideout and put those with the other ones Um, you, you do know this is private property. All you adventurers keep spawning on top of my house here. Need to put up a sign. Are you using uh, the tick fix or anything, Kelly, or are you just going uh, going without it? Because I'm also using um, New Vegas Anti Crash, which. Definitely seems to help with crashing, but freezing? That's another story. Welcome to Megaton. Alright. First things. Tick fix, yup, anti crash. Cool. Well, that's the way to do it. Yeah, what is it? Uh, let me double check your inventory here first, Jericho. Actually, I'm gonna take that, that helmet back. Sure. Give me whatever you You got. can keep Talon combat armor. But, uh, you're fired. Get out of here. What? Are you serious? Uh, yeah. Don't make me repeat myself. I see how it is. The old man can't keep up. Whatever. Now be at Moriarty's if you change your mind. Okay. Yeah, I want to try and limit myself to one... Oh, yeah, it's a, sometimes Bitter Cup doesn't follow me in here. In or out of here. Which I, I don't understand. Once we go inside uh, Crater Side Supply, she should show up. I want to stick to like one human companion and a robot and the dog. So once we recruit Sydney, we'll probably send Bitter Cup to the underground hideout. Yeah, 
Yeah, three companions is a little much. So there she is. Uh, Moira, I have wonderful news. Fiddle with any interesting technology lately? Uh, Kelly says, I just sent Jericho pack into it's me, Clover, Karen, and dog meat. Yeah, I think if you have, like, dog meat and two companions, that's plenty for me. Um, it was a little much there at, at uh, Robco. Um, I reactivated the robots and was able to modify their programming. Harnessing the technology of the past and modifying it for your own purposes? That's just the thing! Tell me all about how it worked out. Hmm. Uh, let's go with in we can go with intelligence, strength, or charisma. Hmm. Let's go with intelligence. We've been doing pretty good with the intelligence checks. Let's keep continuing with that. Even after reprogramming the robots, the robots were of questionable value as allies. Well, they're only human. Or, uh, well, uh, made by humans. Hmm. Well, probably manufactured by other robots, but <laughs> you know where I'm going with this. Seems like a good thing to watch for when dealing with tech of any age. And it helps to pack a few pulse grenades, just in case. <laughs> Here, have a few. Oh, and take my book on science. Yay! For some reason, I just can't get into the computer parts. But I've got the rest pretty much memorized. We have another big book of science. Yay, I can put that on display. The hideout. Uh, so the last part of the chapter is researching local history, right? Yes. Rivet City's in particular. It's the most successful survivor settlement around, but no one here really knows how it started. Of course, that's why it's important to know how a place like that succeeded. So I need you to go there and do some researching. Hmm. Uh, so what's the value, value of digging up history? You mean, apart from making sure we don't repeat our tragic failures in a never-ending cavalcade of human pathos and suffering? Let's say... A big pile of Mentats. I got a shipment of those in recently. Oh boy. Do a good job, and maybe the people of Rivet City will reward you too. Hmm, sounds reasonable. I'll research Rivet City's history. Oh, now I can't wait for what you find out down there. And check around to make sure you're hearing the real deal. Hmm, um, do you have anything for sale? Did your inventory respawn yet by any chance? Sure thing. No, it has not. You still have nothing. You still have 25 caps. So I can't sell you anything. Uh, I will take your 308 rounds, though. I will take those. And I'll take the shotgun shells. And then maybe I can give you... Oh, I don't know. These darts. Railway spikes. And I think that's it. That's good. Good hunting. All right. All right. Can you still do Moira's Crest? Have you blow up Megaton? I do not believe so. People who have blown up Megaton could answer that far better than I can, because I've never blown up Megaton. And I, I couldn't bring myself to do it. But someday I'll have to. All right. Well, I we did a lot tonight. We did everything I wanted to do. I'm going to get ready to wrap things up here. I think what we'll do, or what I will do... Yes, yeah, she does become a ghoul. Yes, she does. Um, I'll go back to uh, the, the hideout, do some maintenance there. Inventory maintenance. And the next time we play, we'll take care of uh, that chapter. I think this is the last chapter for the Wasteland Survival Ghost. So we, if we can finish that off, that would be awesome. So I'll get us situated r r near Rivet City to do that. I'm going to make a save here because I'm going to wrap things up here. And switch over to this. I will quit the game. So yeah, we actually had our first freeze. Not a crash, but a freeze. And that kind of concerns me because that's what ended my last run. Random freezing between levels 10 and 11, so. Yeah, that's a thing. Hopefully we won't get a repeat next time around. But I will be playing this again, maybe next week. I kind of like doing the older Fallout games during the week and then saving Fallout 4 for the weekend. Kind of mixes things up a little bit. And that's gonna wrap it up for me tonight, guys. Um, oh, thanks, Dan, I appreciate you stopping and hanging out. Yes, you rest well too. 
We'll see you guys uh, hopefully tomorrow night. I want to play Fallout 4 tomorrow evening after work for a few hours. Another session of my railroad playthrough. Not sure it's going to happen. It depends on the work thing and how I feel afterwards. Uh, I got a big project that's kind of got a rush thing, so I may end up having to work extra hours tomorrow. But we'll see. If not, I do want to stream from Fallout 4, and of course, we'll, I'll be here Friday for more of the 4s. But yeah, thank you everyone for coming and hanging out. Great to see everybody. You guys like the Fallout 3. That's awesome. Uh, I'm having a blast playing this, so, but... The freeze tonight kind of has me a little, eh, a little scared now that we're going to run into the same situation that we had before. But maybe not. Maybe it was just a one-time thing. But thanks, everybody. You guys have a great, great evening, great morning, afternoon, wherever you are. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay sane. Don't be a covid -iot. Wear a fucking mask. Please don't be a covid -iot. <laughs> Because we're going to be taking temperature checks tomorrow night. Yes, there will be temperature checks at the door. So, yeah, that's going to be a thing. Pants will be optional, but temperature checks are not. But, uh, yeah, thanks a lot, everybody. Appreciate you guys coming and hanging out. Uh, coming and hanging out tonight. If you're new to the stream, I usually play Fallout 3, New Vegas, or 4, or some other game that I'm interested in. Usually a Fallout game. And I also have a YouTube channel. I have a bunch of mods for Fallout 4. Is this going to let me do the thing? It's not going to let me do the thing. Pants optional, mass required, yes. And Nightbot is not letting me do the thing. Really? That's interesting. Yeah, the stream deck's acting up again. Give me one second. Yeah, Stream Deck is broken again. How about that? That's a thing. That's a thing that happened. But yes, we will be back. If you're new to the channel, I'm usually here on on Friday and Saturday nights playing Fallout 4 or some other Fallout game during the week. And uh, thank y'all for all the new subs tonight. Or I'm sorry, all the new follows. And and the new, and the, the resub. I think Brad resubbed it. Brad, if you're still here, thank you for that. Take care of yourself, man. You guys all take care of yourselves. Hopefully see you tomorrow night. Taco Muncher, thank you for that follow. In right under the wire, Taco Muncher, thank you very much. I appreciate that. You guys have a great night. We'll hopefully see you tomorrow. If not tomorrow, then Friday night for Fallout 4. Have a great night, everybody.